This podcast is intended for mature audiences. The views and opinions expressed are those of the panelists and do not reflect in any way those of the podcast partners, sponsors, or affiliates. Enjoy. Hi, this is Michael Buffer, and you're listening to the voice of the people. Let's get ready for Boxing Voice. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. Me, me, me. (laughs) You are now tuned into the Boxing Voice Radio. Join us every Thursday and Sunday live at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. TheBoxingVoice.com Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're back. We're back with a title, untitled episode, man. It's been so long. So, you know, I ain't even have no intro, really. Like, it's just been a long time. But that's kind of like the good part of Untitled. It's just like kick back, relax. You know, we had Enrique talking about, yo, I'm about to send this new intro. We don't even really do intros. It's just like we had the barbershop. It was just for the pocket, you know. I know we just had the barber shop though, but what's good with you, man? Happy to have you back. What's going on? Yo, I appreciate it. What's your diet like, right? This is what Untitled's about. What's your diet like? What's your life like? What's your face like? Mm. Looking at the referee just like Mike. Mm, now we freestyling. Oh. That's Fridays. We do freestyle Fridays on Fridays, but I hear you. Oh, word. We on BT. I hear you. Shout out to King Nero. Oh, get us flag, 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 flag. Who's that? Plan. Oh, something like that's, that, right? That's that was me, dog. You know, I just had to let the people know. Return of the Mac. Oh, mm. Return of the Mac. You did Mark your own Morrison. intro. Mark Morrison out here. Come on, let's get this thing started, man. It's 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 Monday. Uh, on Sunday at twelve one, we put out your post, and you guys got to pick and suggest. Whatever topic we're going to discuss. First one's coming from Killer Kells in California who says, I usually never get the chance to contribute to Untitled shows. So here it goes. Ness, what is the scariest incident you've experienced on the road during truck driving days? I mean, I'm going to let y'all take that first. You know, have you had any scary experiences? Uh, It doesn't have to Uh, be in a truck, obviously, but just driving, like any scary experiences. I have an experience. I was I was driving a truck, a small like a Penske truck. I don't know if yeah, you remember. Box those. truck, box truck, a box, box truck, box to, truck. To, to, so wait, so wait, come on, you you do poor job at this. So what? You went to rent it? Why why was you in a box truck? Penske. I was working for a fabricator at the time, and I always been in touch with like production and stuff. So this guy, this is actually how I got in. This fabricator, he used to build sets. For um, Sony, so if you had a party and you with J Lo and Benny Medina was called called you up and said, "Yo, I want this area to look like this, and we're gonna create this wall filled with perfume bottles because it's a perfume launch." Boom, that's what he was doing. But he also did in store signings. That's how I met Michael Jackson. That's another story. But Destiny Child, when they had, "I'm a survivor, I'm a no get up," is when I had a Penske truck. Rent it to load up when they used to do in-store signings. So we finished Monday midnight, like 1 o'clock. Because remember, albums used to come out on Tuesdays. I don't know if you remember that. But they would sign. They would do in-store signings. So I had until Wednesday to get to Dallas, Texas. No, Houston, Texas. And we left at 1 a.m., me and my man. And man as in friend, right? Or partner in the truck. So we drive... And I'm telling you, 1 a.m., we like, yo, we ain't going to stop till the next day, right? Next day, we still driving. It's motherfucking 10 p.m. the next day. And I'm like, dog, man, listen, we, I got to pull over. We like, fuck it, you sleep, I sleep, we switch. So we like, all right, cool. We scared that at the time, we not going to make it. And at the time, I'm like 22 or whatever. So... We driving now the next morning. It's my turn. As soon as I drive, all the needles go down. I hear some. All the needles go down to the left. But the truck's still driving. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Power button got hit. Yo. I'm like, what's going on? So I'm now my heart is racing. I'm like, yo, this is a good ass paying job. I'm not trying to pay for shit. Uh, la. We pull over to this truck stop. Apparently, a lot of trucks get like into issues. Wind up there. Luckily, I was first. Went to the uh, to the like the part shop that was there, 
And they're like, yo, we calling the mechanic. Call the mechanic. This big ass 18 wheeler shows up. My man got a serious problem. He also in the rush. I know 18 wheeler tractor trailers on schedules and they can't fall behind because I think it costs them money or whatever. So he's like, pop the hood. Let me see what's going on. So I popped, you know, the Penske, there's a whole fucking cab. The front just flipped open from the, like, towards the bumper. Yeah, the whole nose falls yeah, down. the whole nose falls forward. So he's like, oh, man, this is a belt. The belt popped, like, this one belt. Yeah. And he was, and it slapped this wire out. I'm like, damn, I, don't, I would have never guessed that that was what it was. You would have charged me $2,000, and I would have believed you. Yo, he said, buy this belt. I bought the belt. Shit was like forty dollars. I gave him forty dollars. The receipt said forty. I was getting reimbursed because they gave us two thousand dollars petty cash. I put a, I put another zero by that shit. Boom, kept it moving. Four hundred dollars. I made three eighty, three twenty, or three sixty on the way to Houston, Texas. That was my story, man. Sorry. Damn, champ. Damn. So um, it took you two days to get to Houston. Yo, two days nonstop. And the shit got worse when we was coming back. We stopped in North Carolina. We meet some girls off of the whole, I mean, South Carolina. And I'm talking about South, South. And we at a motel. And this dude that was in the motel pushing whatever comes up to us like, yeah, yeah. I know where y'all, y'all from New York. I know where we could get some bitches. Yo, we wind up in a trailer. <laughs> like a, not even a trailer park. Yo, shit was scary. We in a trailer. This one girl looked like light skinned. The old, old first Rihanna, you know, and um, damn, so she had the big forehead, big forehead, and then like a Kelly Rowland. So me and my man's like, yo, we could beat. They drinking like Bud Light or whatever, straight out the can. <laughs> <laughs> Kitchen, <laughs> they crushing cans on their head like. So, <laughs> nah, they was kind of good looking though, but you know it was back back then. So we in there. I don't know what um the dark skinned girl was doing, but Kelly she Rowland. Got, yeah, the Kelly Rowland looking girl. Some yeah. dude shows up dusty. It's nighttime. But lucky we still were old boy from the motel. He with us. He popping mad shit. A dusty ass car rolls up. Yo, yo, who fucking with you, Rihanna? What's going on? What's going on? My man was like, yo, why are we getting all hostile in here? Nobody ain't trying to fuck your girl. He like, that's my girl. This my trailer. Y'all <laughs> 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 He I'm said, that's his trailer. We was like, yo, we got to get the fuck out of here, man. I ain't trying to get shot up in no South Carolina. So, you know, that was the scary story of my truck short experience days. Yeah. Yo, I can't even look. I never drove a truck. You know, drove an eighteen wheeler, but um, I mean, if a pickup truck counts for something, I got a story. But I was young, man. I was very, very little. Uh, this was in Honduras, man, and uh, yo, mm. I was, I was very, very scared, cause you know, out there, like, you know, in the city, you you'll get the pavement and all that. You know what I'm saying? You know, it, it's it's up to date. But there's some some villages and some towns, man, and uh, that don't got roads that are paved. Yo, put that, that mic closer to you so you don't sound like you're in an empty room, champ. My bad. There you yes. go. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah. So like, it's a uh, um, it's just different. You know, depending on where you are in Honduras, you you, you encounter these dirt roads, right? Champ, I was going to visit my aunt, right? And we took this route, and it's it's a normal route, bro. When I tell you the truck, the pickup truck barely fit on the road, bro, and we was on a cliff, like. We was we had to go like around this like little mountain, bro. I never been so scared in my life, dog. Ne- yeah, I'm talking about the shit looked like it like at any moment any dirt gave out. <laughs> he made like if he if he made the wheel go to the right, that shit looked like it was gonna fall off. And it, I think I, I think we was on that road for like like no, a few minutes. It wasn't too long. It's not like it was a long road, but that it was, was a scary. risk. It yeah, it was, it was a risk, bro. And mind you, I'm looking at you from like, man, I was like 11. I was young. It's my last time I went to Honduras, you know what I'm saying? But I was scared, bro. And I'm just looking out the window. <laughs> and my man's driving the truck. And he's like, like nothing. <laughs> bro, they used to it out there, bro. They used yeah, they, to it. That shit. I mm-hmm. seen that. 
Bro, that that was my scariest. Uh, uh, Honestly, man, I don't got no no scary trucking stories. Like I drove the truck, but I I, I didn't crash. Uh, and uh, you know, I seen other people like um. What kind of truck though? Like nah, Penske I was in the, I was in the eighteen. I was an eighteen wheeler. You know, I was oh, an eighteen wheeler. So I was driving those, but like I don't have any scary stories, I, cause I respected it. You know what I mean? Like I, I, I feel, I feel like I learned my lesson when I went to school. You know, I paid attention, watched the videos. I see how those trucks can't stop, especially with um, freight. Exactly, you got cargo in the back. You can't just be, you know, stopping on a dime. So I, I, I really respected the truck. Plus my my company, they was giving out. Um, bonus days for every six months, no non-traffic. You know what I mean? Not non-accident. Um, so I, I never really had any scary stories like that in the truck, man. I got lucky. I seen it all. Seen trucks. But you go was local over. though. That's why too. You told me you local, were local, local. But local, I still did tri-state though. Still did mm. tri-state. Philly, PA, Jersey, Connecticut. You know, especially yeah. Connecticut and Jersey. You know, I mean, Connecticut and Philly. That's them big ass states. You, you be in the truck for a minute. Believe me. Anytime I used to drive to PA, I loved it because it was easily two hours to get there, two hours to come back. That's half the day plus the time to load or unload. You know, I'm easily that's five hours right there. I'm done. I'm halfway done. You feel me? Right. So I always loved that. But now nah, I don't got no scary stories, man. I ain't got no scary stories. But before we go to the next question. Uh, I know you guys probably didn't get the opportunity to watch Bloodshot with uh, Vin Diesel because of uh -huh. the whole coronavirus, but I did, man, and uh, that shit was pretty right, man. It was pretty good, man. Um, I think my biggest issue was how you going to call a movie Bloodshot and then there's no, no blood. blood. Oh, so you read this? You seen this already somewhere? Because that, that was a major issue for me. Like, nah, what? I I just took a guess. So what was it? There was no blood. There was no blood, bro. This shit was like a PG thirteen movie or some crazy shit like that. And what look, was it rated because I judge movies by the rating too. Sometimes I I might be into it, and then they say rated PG thirteen. I'm like, oh, nah, I it's PG thirteen, and they ain't have no blood. And I I bet you that's why Rotten Tomatoes dropped it to like a thirty one percent. Users, you know, they fucking with it. It's like eighty five percent. I enjoyed the movie. I like the the writing. I, you know, this is something new to me. Uh, it's not a remake for me. You know, I don't know if there's an, an original Bloodshot running around out there. Is but that a superhero movie or a it, 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 it felt like a superhero movie. It really did. Uh, the synopsis is after he and his wife are murdered, Marine Ray Garrison is resurrected by a team of scientists enhanced with... Nanonite technology. He has become a superhuman biotech killing machine, Bloodshot. As Ray first trains with his fellow super soldiers, he cannot recall anything from his former life. So that does a poor job. This is what happens, right? You, you open up with the movie and it's Vin Diesel. He's in full army fatigue. He's out there in like Afghan or, or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Middle because, East, Middle East. Yeah, because he's got the desert on, the desert fatigues on. You know what I mean? Desert camo. He got the desert camo on. Long story short, my man gets popped. He dies. He wakes up on a table. Any blood when he dies? Bro, I I, I kid you not. <laughs> I kid you not. There's one one scene of blood that isn't red. It's like silhouette of some sort of blood dropping to the floor. You don't oh get it. They, it. It was PG-13, bro, um, which is sad. It's, it, it was really sad to see that. That was my only gripe, dog. I, 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 Stop right there. PG-13. What is GTA uh, mature audience? Is that like, because 13 years play that shit. I mean, GTA, you mean GTA Grand, Grand Theft Auto? Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, yeah, Grand yeah, Theft yeah. Auto. But that's a little different, though, right? That's 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 uh, you buying a game. You know what I mean? I don't know. But this, yeah, but it's made and directed by movie and filmmakers. Yeah, no, nah, it's 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 got the uh, uh the the you know the the, the rating or whatever. Yeah, PG they probably got game. the parental advisory Miles, slip. Yeah, parental parental, parental advisory sticker, and you get away with anything, man. It's, it's called it's, mature. This one yeah, is mature, mature. Or yeah, for, mild, yeah, but mild that's violence. only recommendation. That's only recommending the parents. Like, this is for a mature audience or mature. Yeah, but PG 13s you know? mean yo, a 13 year old could watch it with their parents' guidance. Exactly. 
Exactly. So no blood. No blood. No so blood. That shit might have been regular PG. Bruh, no, no, I'm looking at, I got it open up. It says PG-13, 2020, drama, fantasy, hour and 49 minutes. It had a, a 31% Rotten tomato score. You know, 85% of the users liked it. I'm one of those 85%. I had the issue with no blood, but I really enjoyed the Nano Knight technology. That writing was refreshing. You know, I, I'm tired of remakes, even though I want a few, like Back to the Future. Uh, But, you know what I mean? Where? Yeah, I would, I, I, yo, imagine what Back to the Future would be like right now, 2020. Right, I don't Insane. know if they'll ruin it though. I mean, they yeah. might ruin it. They might ruin it because there's dudes like you that that that, that y'all nostalgic, y'all stuck on back yeah, in the day. Y'all yeah, gonna be like, I'm oh, oh, oh like, whoever they pick is gonna be like, oh, Zac Efron ain't ain't Michael not, J. Not, Fox. Not, I'm not like that. I'm I like all right. So the la I don't. I'm not into Marvel or none of that shit. Avengers, none of that. Kill shit. Kill yourself. Y'all can be <laughs> mad at that. I like movies. Like I don't know. I like more. Like damn, what's the greatest last movie I just saw? What action or, 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 or anything? It depends. Like I like Spence on Netflix, that new one. Spencer that came out with uh Mark Wahlberg. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We seen I seen that. I seen that. Yeah, I like movies like that, right? So anyway, so I went to see the Spider Man, the animated one that recently came out when he was rocking the Jordans, the little kid. He was like half Puerto Rican, half black. Yeah, the yeah, the one. animated Spider Man. Yeah. Yeah, I seen that it. Was dope. Now if they did a back to the future like that. Animated? You know yeah, that would nah, make more sense. Nah, nah, nah. You want some Pixar shit. Not Yo. that Pixar, but that feeling, like that hip feeling, you know? I don't know if they could redo the regular Back to the Future, because we also have Back to the Future, too. You know? Bro, they got to do Back to the Future over. First of all, uh, think about Michael J. Fox's whack-ass skateboard, the hoverboard. Imagine now, that shit will be f fire. Imagine well, Biff's car. Imagine Biff's call. Like, they need to do Back to the Future in this day and age. Don't do Back to the Future back in the 80s. I'm, I'm, I hate that. Hey, yo, he said They Biff. might go back to the past. Now nah, they got to do Back to the Future current date. So, like, you in, you in no. 2020 and you go back to the 80s. You ain't in 2020 that, going back to the 50s. What that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's I, what I really, they did before. Was, they went back to the 50s talking about... Y'all ain't ready for this. Remember on the stage? Nah, nah. The guitar oh, yeah, scene... That's be dope if they go back to the 80s Woo. or they even 90s they, what if they nah, go out they, what, what if they, they, they go out. <laughs> they was out Ma, they go back to the 70s the let me uh era. let me mix in one of these <laughs> let me mix in one of these questions we're going to the next one both from bama oh this is a good one he got me pissed off with this this is a good one right here we're going out to both from bama he says 2020 border wars pound for pound list Donnell off the list, undefeated. Jose still on the list. JD made it. Who ranks in? Who deserves to be on the list? So let me let me pull up this list, bro. Cause oh yeah, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. This list got me dumb tight. And I know I told Doomy. I know he did it trolling. Cause you know I'm like that. You know what I mean? You gotta do something to entice and and, and get engagement from the people. Um. But this I'm looking list... at it, yo. Both from Bama Border Wars, pound for pound list. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Senor Mitty, the coach mm. at the top of the list. Top of the top, numero top uno, numero uno. You know what I'm saying second in line, Mr. Ness, the Dominican Nightman. Four no, che. Ooh, that means that if Mitty was your weight, he would beat you. No, that means if Mitty was my weight, I did, I destroy him. <laughs> All right, so we'll be fair and say it'll be a competitive fight. Bruh, bruh, Mitty never got a knockdown in three fights. In in four fights, I got seven knockdowns. I'm the hardest puncher in Border Wars history. He might Tyson Fury you, though. Maybe. Yeah, I work. Yeah, I work. Maybe, yeah, I work. maybe. But till then, till then, nobody got even close to seven knockdowns in Border Wars, champ. He got Marvin as the third, the tank, Furman. I, I respect got... that. I respect that. Yeah, I threw two. That's man. his second they, time on the list too, yo. So he's he's been on the list, uh, cause I don't know. I guess that's what that two time pound for pound represents. Mm -hmm. Is that two times on the list? Yeah, yeah, two time, two not is yeah, two time pound for pound. Yep. I don't know what and, that means though. We are gonna have to get both from Bama in here. What the fuck does two time pound for pound? Cause oh, if that's oh, the case, I mean, if that's the, the case, if that's the case, uh, uh, Jose is like three time. He been on the list forever. He ain't never get took off. Yeah, Canadian Jose. Wait, he won titles on both, maybe. Does he? Marvin? 
I mean, Marv, that's what I said. You Marvin do have... got two belts, but I mean, I don't know. I mean, Maybe. yo, Jose, uh, how, how, how do you feel? Uh, are you happy to hear Jose still on the list, being as though that's a guy that you, you the only guy you lost to? I, think I mean, that he's a champ. He's still a champ. Did nah, he nah, he ain't a champ, but he's still undefeated, and 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 obviously they still got him on the list. So, well, he's by default. That's all. It wasn't what number? Like he's above Marvin? Nah, he he lasts. Nah. He lasts on the list. He number oh, five. Man. He number five. He's about to go off the list. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean. Once you once you retire, you're not on the list anymore. That's just that's just the way it works. If you ain't, yeah, I'm telling like, you, I'm telling you, Bo just trolling by keeping him on the list to get us to talk, man. <laughs> you can't yeah, be on the list if you inactive, man. You ain't fought, you ain't fight. Yeah. What's up with you, Enrique, man? When you making your comeback, man? You know, you bro. Enrique been getting calls out left and right, yo. It, it, uh, uh, Eric Cruz wants some wants some of Enrique, bro. Yo, trust me, I want to bang Eric Cruz upside the head so he could get his shit together. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, right now I could be, I can't even train right now. That's the crazy shit. Nah, man. I it's, have it's difficult. But it's difficult. yeah, man, nobody scared of none of that shit, man. Damn, they on. said who's the guy in the middle? Damn, do me. That's how long you've been going. They don't even know who you are. Doomsday. Yo, what's the dude that beat um um uh Conor McGregor jumped and skydived towards Drake? Say what now? The dude, <laughs> what he he's a UFC about? fighter. He fought Conor McGregor. Drake was in McGregor's corner, and there was a riot broke out. Remember? Oh, you talking about Nate, uh, Nick Diaz? Nah, man. The dude recently, man. Oh, Khabib. Khabib, that's who you look like with the chops. You mean my cousin? My cousin? <laughs> Yo, that's Khabib right there. Yo, let's bounce back to some movies uh, before we go to another question. I, I wanted to see, did you guys see that new Ben Affleck movie? It's Which called The Way that? Back. Uh, it's a basketball. Oh, movie. Yeah, He's a basketball coach. coach. It's so like, how do you see? I didn't see it. I didn't see it. But it, when I saw the, the trailer for it, it was just like, ah, here we go. <laughs> nah, it was a, it was all right, man. Let me it's see. Based, based, is it based off a true story? I believe so. Yes, probably. probably I believe so. I think coach. I mean, look, is it? It was. It was something like. I'm It's not gonna be something like, but it, it was similar to like a Coach Carter movie, right? Yeah, probably. yeah. But look, Rotten Tomatoes gave it an 80, uh, 83. Fandango eighty four, yeah. and the mm -hmm. people uh, on Google users they were seventy one percent of it. Um, look, it, the synopsis is a trouble man with a formerly promising career in basketball, struggles with alcoholism while coaching the basketball team at his old high school. So I'm trying to remember how he lost his wife because, uh, you know, you're, you're, you're introduced... Like by death or by, like, divorce? Tragedy, tragedy or something. You're introduced to the main actor or the main, uh, you know... Yeah, actor uh, Ben Affleck, or the main character, but he's already single and an alcoholic. Like you're introduced to him as a hardcore alcoholic. Like they went, they went as far as having him drink beer in the in the shower multiple times, so you can understand how deep of an alcoholic he was. He would he would drive to like first he wouldn't put coffee in his coffee mug. It would be beer. His cooler didn't have food. It was beer behind the seat. He behind the seat in his car, in the back seat. He had another cooler with more beer. He would leave the bar. I mean, leave the leave the job after work and go to the bar. Like homeboy was a a, a, a straight alky. Um, then the pastor. That's how I am, though on vacation, I'm like that. But it ain't beer though. I'll be having like a Ciroc <laughs> in the shower. I'm like. Damn in the shower, nah, bro. You. I seen I've that shit. That. I'm I've like, wow. That. I've done. Uh, that. They was trying to make sure you, we got the point that the man was an alcoholic. <laughs> Definitely was an alcoholic. But this one, you know, this is one of those like, you know, obviously struggle with alcohol and you know letting people down and and, and then and then overcoming all that. You know what I'm saying? And having so, possibilities and shit like failing them. And, yeah. So he yeah. he he coached a. Catholic school basketball team, so that was good right there. That that made for some good drama. Obviously, an alcoholic, the swears and all that great shit. You it, watched it? I definitely watched. It. I watch everything, man. Um, I mean, they're gonna they're gonna do um, early re releases 
uh, probably next week. Digital release, just because you know none of these movies are being watched on. It's probably gonna be pay per view though. Nah, nah, nah. I still want to see Uncut Gems. I haven't watched that. What oh, man, you I, wild? No, that, that, that was, was all right. Watch it again. I'm gonna watch. That it again, was all right, right there. That yo, I, I I can't even believe people ain't really like that, bruh. Um, bro, Adam like Sandler should have fucked up that dude, bro. I, I don't know his name, but he played on Get Out. Man, that motherfucker hey, need to he, get fucked up. Yo, I don't even Hayes. like that dude as an actor anyway, bro. Like, I watched his interview with uh, Disa and Mero. He corny as hell, bro. He corny nah, as hell. That's my man's. Man, Look, fuck he out gonna here. I don't like joke. the Joker. Who the. What? Yeah. It's gonna be a black Joker? Yeah. Wow. He gonna be the next Joker. He whack. He extra oh. trash. The but dude from Get it? Out? The dude from Get Out? Yeah, get out. Lakeith, he was in ATL. Bruh, he whack as hell. He did the show with the girl from YouTube on HBO. Issa Ray. Exactly. Bruh, he... Oh, yo, watch the interview with DeSimero. He is trash, bruh. Like, he... Yeah, he, I, I he, I he, he Terrence Crawford. You ever seen his interview, bruh? He, but he Terrence Crawford really on bud. Because it looked like he smoked or he on a pen and he just... It's too laid back. It's like... It's like he on slow mo, like he was up there on lean or some shit, man. That shit, I don't, I can't. I, he probably I, was. Look, I'm judging him off of one interview, so you know, I will yeah, give yeah. him another chance. I will yeah, give him another. Yeah. You you judging him on uncut, on uncut gems? Oh, I'm de I'm de he definitely he did such a good job acting that I dislike him from uncut gems. He was a motherfucker. He was a piece of shit in that in that role. Well, there you go. That that's why he's what he is. He's I going know, to play but the I, Joker. But I gave him that. I gave him. I mean, look. I don't know why they got him playing the Joker. I think uh, he probably was high as fuck on DC and Mero. You know, that's an uncut, uncensored. Come in, you you relatable. We on the couch. You, you know? know what it is though. A lot of the times we we we, we see these actors on the, on these movies and we try to tie into to knowing them by what character they're portraying. Man, these guys are totally different when when they outside the. You know, the yeah, screen. but that's where I seen him. This and Meryl was him being interviewed as him, and he's just like, you know, they like, yo, so so what's going on? He's like, <laughs> <laughs> he was high, man. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he, yeah he was, man. He was, he was cush cush. You know, yep. I'm so, happy to be here. He was on the shrooms. I'm or happy something. to be here. <laughs> I'm, happy to be I'm here. like, bro, what the fuck is going on, man? His publicists need to get fired. Can't be Yo, on I've been watching like that. Well, not movies. I've been watching. Um, I mean, the last movie I saw in theaters was The Joker, but um, and I saw Honey Boy. Honey but, Boy, um, what the fuck is that? See, I don't know about that film. What's that? that? Was the straight to, Shay, to, straight what's to TV. Name? Shay LaBeau. Shay LaBeouf. Shay LaBeouf movie about Shyla. Shyla. I thought it was Shay LaBeouf. Shia... It might be Shay or Shia LaBeouf. Whatever. Um, the dude. Uh, has a movie that he actually act as his dad is based on his life as a kid. His dad was a rodeo clown and he was a child actor and they lived in a motel. Uh, it was a serious deep movie and I shit thought, sound trash. Nah, that shit was dope. You got what, was, what it. was it about? Just about his dad abusing him, you know, and you trying to figure out what's going on. And then shit. it's like shit sound a like child. a lifetime movie. It's a drama. Nah, it sound maybe my description will make it sound like that, but nah, I don't have it in front of me to read like you did, but next time I'll get that ready. I so mean, I you got to like, Google that. Google your movie. I'll be back. While you do that, we're going to go to one yeah, more yeah, movie yeah. review. One go more ahead. one more movie review slash recommendation. The Invisible Man. Now, if you didn't watch the trailer, this movie is fantastic for you. You know what I mean? If you watch the trailer and you're as intelligent as me, maybe... You know, you will get upset after watching the movie because maybe the trailer gives a little bit too much. But if you're not a movie buff, you probably can't tell what's going on from the trailer. I mean, what is it? A thriller? The Invisible Man. Thriller? The Invisible Man is. Let's see what we got here. Invisible Man. I don't see where it says thrill. I'm gonna have to Google this mother. I mean, it, it's tagged as a mystery sci-fi, but like it's a rated it's all. But look, it's good because it's that. It's 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 a it's a scientist or some sort of. I don't know what he was to be honest with you, but somebody's husband is abusive as hell. 
You know what I mean? So the woman's trying to escape one night. That's how the scene. That's how the movie opens up. It's late night. They they make sure to give you enough scenes of her being fearful of him. She falls to sleep. He falls asleep. She drugs him. She's out. He still wakes up somehow. You know, chases after her. Busts the car window. He's bleeding out on the floor because he broke the window. They pull off. Ah, they gone. Couple days later, she gets a notice from a lawyer that her husband died. So, you know, he committed suicide and they're giving her five million dollars is her That shit sound like a old network movie. Bruh, the shit rocking. Cause, right. I'm, I'm cause he invented he invent he's he's like me. He's so spiteful. He got revenge on his mind. This nigga invented an invisible suit. And mm. he faked his death, and like he did, he faked his death just to fuck with her, like because he he gave her five million, but it was contingent on her, you know, staying sane and you know following these ridiculous guidelines, right? That was written out in his will in order for her to get this five mil. But while she's trying to do these weird ass things, he got it doing. He's invisible, trying to make her look crazy. Doing all type of shit to make her look crazy, and, and she ends up in a hospital, bro. Like, but Man. um, nah, it's it's fire, it's fire. The the only issue is that the trailer lets you know he invented the suit. It would have been better to eliminate that from the from the from the trailer so that you never know. You just think he's dead. You think she's Man, a she's fucking crazy. lunatic. Exactly. Right. They fucked up with the trailer, man. I thought I thought this was a remake of the the first Invisible Man. I know there was another movie that was like this, you know, with the guy being invisible or what. Now I forget the exact name of the movie, but uh, Ryan Tomatoes Ryan Tomates gave it ninety one percent. Like damn, on the Invisible Man. Yeah, man. Wow, good for wait, them. Wait, wait. Uh, explain that because I was going to ask. I never understood ninety one percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Bro, that's a what? fresh apple, man. That's a fresh yeah. apple right there. Yeah, yeah, that's ninety one percent rating. So, and for you to get that, you know, it's got to be a good movie. Those but dudes. Yeah, and let I me think, tell you, I, think I see tomatoes. I think that's a negative. So nah, because so. you know, tomatoes are synonymous with movies, and when you horrible, they throw you. They throw tomatoes at you. Right. So the higher your percentage tomatoes, the, the fresher. That means it's good. If your if your you tomatoes are low, you're rotten. If your tomatoes are low, you're rotten. So is your whack ass right. movie. All right, cool. God well, damn, boy. it is ninety one percent. Holy freakers, that is crazy. Yo, yo, honey boy, just like you was explaining how Lakeith was such a good actor that you hated him, like this movie. The the uh the syn the synopsis says a young actor's stormy childhood and early adult years as he struggles to reconcile with his father and deal with his mental health. Right, this was written by Shay LaBeouf, LaBeouf, however we pronounce his name, and this is based on a true story. And out of ten stars, it got a seven point four. It's called Honey Boy and it's rated R and it's a drama. I actually enjoyed it because it was showing how courageous the little boy had to be and how, I mean, how vulnerable he was. And they lived in a motel. He's trying to be a star. His dad is a fucking rodeo clown, meaning those clowns that be on the bulls and shit, getting chased by the bulls. The, the so, ones that get the cowboy to safety and shit. Yeah. So that was like the whole life, like the risk and the trying to make it out of this motel. You know, but the dad taking the son money. So it was a long, not a long, I, I'm going to say, it's just a story about this struggle. What's this What's this uh, cover? It looks like he got hit with a pie or something. Yeah, because he, he was a child actor. You know, he was like on a kid's show where you get slimed and you get hit by a pie. Oh, okay. You, you think on the outside looking in, this kid's going home to a big-ass kitchen and a house with two car, car garage and shit, but they going to a motel. You know what I mean? So it's uh, a, it's an interesting story. It's kind of touching, but I enjoyed well, it. Shit, let me tell you this: uh, they gave it ninety four percent on Rotten Tomatoes. So yeah, no, Must it's it's highly rated. It's highly rated. Uh, yeah. Um, also, it won Sundance, and which is a big like if you win Sundance, your movie is going to theaters. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yo, so, Shyla, Shyla's had a, like uh, I guess in the last few years, several years, he, a meltdown. He's, 
Not meltdown. See, people call it a meltdown. I call it an, an, an awakening. And, uh, <laughs> he's, Go, he's, going <laughs> crazy right, publicly. No, I'm, I'm I'm ser- no it, it's look. There's a lot of there's a lot. We that's a whole other topic. Shout that, out. This movie was after that, so that yeah. it, this was explaining his awakenings. So this yeah. is how he got. All the, the that's this was his therapy There's right in that film. Look, Shyla Shyla seen uh, the 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 good and the bad in Hollywood, man. We all know that these actors, uh, especially when they're young, they go through a lot. They go through a lot, and it's not you know. And, and, and I'm pretty sure that he went through it too as a young star. So um, I can see where he probably poured out a little bit of himself into that movie. It was a it's his story. It's his real life story. With his dad, his real young actor relationship, trying to get love from his dad, you know. Yeah, no, like, yeah, 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 no. I'm saying we, that it's on Nickelodeon, but we going into a motel, mm. and while I'm being babysit by a prostitute, you know what I'm saying? Shit was crazy. You gotta watch it. That's what's up. Because yeah. if he had such a childhood, he still made it to be a fucking successful actor who's a multi-millionaire. I mean, them, them Transformer movies got him paid up. Hell bro, yeah. I bro, know my, my boy got my boy got bars. Y'all ain't know? Oh yeah, rapping. Yeah. Listen, let's pause real quick and uh take another question. Uh on Patreon, we got Big Casual. He says, Will we ever get the Wilder versus AJ fight? If Wilder knocks out Tyson Fury early in the trilogy, if that happens, will the fourth fight be considered the greatest heavyweight fight in history? So that's too many questions. We're gonna have to pick one. Do y'all want to talk about, uh, you know, Wilder Fury being the greatest fight in history if if the fourth fight happens, which is contingent on Wilder knocking him out in the third. You or, mean the third fight? No, no. See, what no. Fourth fight. Look, I'm you know old. what? Let's just go with his first question, which is, will we ever get the Wilder versus AJ fight? What's your thoughts? I believe. Based off of the Fury outcome, the next fight, because there's a lot of story behind it that's controversial against Tyson Fury being victorious. You know what I mean? I'm going to be honest with y'all, man. That fight's not going to happen. Because? It's just not going to happen. We lost that fight, bro. (laughs) I'm serious. We ain't getting that fight, man. Why? I don't know where you get that information from. Hey, hey, listen, uh, it's... You can call it whatever you want. Gut feeling. Uh, uh, you know, when th- good things pass, sometimes they, they but don't come back. Wilder should... got another five and a half years. How are you going to say he won't face bro, bro, Anthony bro, bro. Joshua in five years? And it's business? Come on, man. And it's the bro, only big business. Lost. Outside of Fury, it's the only big business. And for AJ. He lost the fight, man. Oh, so because you lose the fight, you never get another fight? You sound crazy. You're not, nah, man, AJ, look, AJ, it was no mystery to us that AJ was always dodging Wilder. I right, and now they see vulnerability. They, they, he, there's a blueprint. You think AJ's scared of him now? Yo, yo if AJ if AJ beats uh, uh, Fury, bro, he's not going to fight Wilder. He's he's going to do the same thing that he did with to him the other times. He's not going to Why? Give him Listen to me. Listen to me, champion. If he beats Fury, which is a fucking far fetched. That's the it. That, what you're saying is that. No, if, if no, but beats- I'm not saying if that's you, you added that in. We talking about Wilder versus AJ. Will we ever get it? Wilder don't got to beat Fury to fight AJ. What I'm saying that this fight took too much energy out of the both sides of the camps, the fans. And everything nah. else along the way, bro, it's not... It's a, and this, this is my happens. opinion. Y'all yeah, can, yeah, can, can go back and forth for me. I'm not going to hate, but it's just, to me, it's just not happening, man. It's just... It was just too much... What's what's going to be the excuses now? What do you mean excuses, though? If, he, if, 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 he's if, just bro, stuck in negative mode. Brother, he's stuck in negative no, mode. No, it's not negative so mode. So let me ask you a question real quick. If if um, part three, Fury, Wilder happens, and Wilder knocks out Fury in three or two... You think there's going to be a four fight or AJ doesn't take the Wilder fight because of the fluke that happened in Wilder versus Fury 2? Well, look, the thing is, is that we're back to square one, uh, Cash. We're back to square one. He get, he, he gets his title back and we're back to where we started. We're but back to him being a WBC champ and, and AJ being, uh, uh, you know, got his belts back. And then are we going to get the same run around again? No, no bro, you, we're you past that. that. We're past that. Wilder's a star who does pay per views. He did eight hundred and fifty thousand. Eddie Listen, can't uh, lie anymore. There's resume now. There's facts. Uh, so, so there wasn't no resume. Uh, no, uh, before, before no. his uh, uh, loss. No, 
No. So before the loss, he wasn't worthy. Now after he lost to Tyson Fury, now no, he's worthy? No, no, no. Listen to what I'm saying. All right. Before he started negotiating with Fury ever, ever, okay? Before, wow, that is. Exactly. Before he started negotiating with Fury ever, he wasn't on that level. AJ was his A-side. When he negotiated with Fury, he did the draw. They had a successful pay-per-view. He raised his profile. He became the A-side. First fight. First fight. Okay. I'm following you. Obviously, he loses to Fury in the rematch. He's got a rematch. He's, he's a no champ. longer the A-side to AJ. And mm. now he's B-side, but with, like Andy Ruiz, pay-per-view worthy. So, so, so is or is he not an A-side if he beats Fury? Where, Absolutely. Where does he fall into? So now he's an A-side in a fight against AJ. No, because... Uh, both of them would have losses, and again, Eddie, AJ, everybody already passed that era Ness. that you're in. They're past Ness. that. They've already Ness. said they. You just cut to the cut to the chase, champ. He's you're not the listening. B side. Who? Yeah. Arthur. If he, he's the B side. Brother, you smoking serious rock so you, from the so '80s? You so you, from so the you '80s, champ. So Listen to me. If he knocks out Fury and he's the A side, what the fuck? Of course. Man, you smoking. So, You're not smoking crack. You smoking cookies. Okay, so right now, don't we consider uh, Fury the A side to AJ right now? Bro, AJ. Is he the A side to Fury? Is Fury the A side to AJ right now? Who's the number one heavyweight? AJ. You crazy, bro? Fury is. Is Fury? Of course. Why? AJ got a loss. AJ lost to Ruiz, a twenty to one uh, okay, dog. Because O, the O makes him that. Not the O, but the fact that he so lost to a it? twenty to one underdog. Tyson Fury's undefeated and beat both boogeymans. He beat Vlad and Wilder. Right, I Man, got your point. I'm done with this that's dude. Cool. He's crazy. Nah, nah, that's cool, but but because you used the word vulnerability and because Doomy was like, nah, that ain't going to happen. During that fight, that second fight, I came across something, right? And it was um it was it was called the man in the arena. So I was like, I'm going to read it anyway. And at first, I thought it was short. It was at first, I thought of, I, I thought of Keith Thurman, but it was the same exact day that motherfucking uh, Deontay Wilder lost, right? And I was like, "Yo, this is so relevant right now." And it was it, it read like this: <clears throat> It was like, "It is not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles or where the doer or deeds could have done the, them better." The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is mad by dust and sweat and blood, who who strives <laughs> relentlessly, <laughs> who errs, who yeah. comes short what again. You, what, what you calling Aristotle, man? Nah, listen, I'm almost done, man. Who comes short again and again because there is no effort without error and shortcoming, but who does actually strive to do the deeds, who knows great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself in worthy cause, who at the best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who at the worst, if he fails, at least fails while daring to be great. I'm back in philosophy class right now. Nah, 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 but but the point is that we here, and I and this is why it was relevant to say this, All because right. everybody's saying to anybody, whether it's Keith Thurman or whether it's Deontay Wilder now, oh, everybody's pointing fingers, the critic. They pointing fingers how the strong man stumbled, you know, where he went wrong and what he didn't do. But at the end, yo, he went up there, he knows what it is to go against to be great. So, Look, you know, the man you know who's count. Ness said vulnerabilities. My man got vulnerabilities. He ain't the craziest, scariest man on earth. I'm sorry. He is the scariest, craziest man on earth. He proved it, but he lost. And I think he does deserve an AJ fight, and I think we will see it. It's not it whether he deserves it or not. I'm just going along with what I've seen so, thus far. And Ness, I mean, are you really taking into account all the controversy that, that that that's you know revolving around around Tyson Fury? You know, because I take that all into account. Man, I'm speaking to yeah. the mic. I can't hear you. You don't sound like you're taking it into account by saying. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why are you screaming? <laughs> Am I screaming? My Hell yeah, yo. Let me you tell you something. Like, oh. You still, you still, you still think that Wilder's going to be the A side if he beats Tyson Fury, right? 
Uh, and no, excuse me. You saying Tyson Fury right now is the A side, right? Brother, Tyson yeah, Fury. It, 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 Tyson Fury is factually the number bro, one. But his win, his win has way. Tyson Fury on it, is number one universal heavyweight, brother. Is universally recognized as the number one. He's the lineal. He is the WBC. He is the ring. He is the only undefeated champion, and his resume is better than any other heavyweight out there. Well, right active. Now, right now, Tyson Fury. Let's say they say fuck, fuck it. While the something happens, while the fight can't happen, you're saying that Tyson Fury against AJ going into negotiation, Tyson Fury is going to hold the A side card. <laughs> Absolutely. You don't. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey Doomy, you've been all you've been away for a minute. No, you can laugh all you want. Don't, Just don't throw that don't throw that at me like 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 I haven't been behind the scenes looking at boxing. All right, so have you been watching enough Eddie Hearn interviews? Because he he he's obvious in that. He said it. Like he oh. knows. He knows their positions, bro. Listen, eight hundred thousand pay per views at a hundred dollars, bro, or it's eighty dollars. Like part, bro. what are you it's talking about? He's an A side, bro. Exactly. So 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 you say talking to the mic. So you're saying to Eddie Hearn, yeah, my arm ain't up yet, man. Eddie Hearn is going to go into this negotiation as the B-side with Fury. So that I mean, means that Tyson Fury is going to get the bigger pot, right? He the A-side, right? He, he'll he get some A-side concessions, whether that's no, no, money. No, 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 I asked you a question. Is he going to get the bigger pot? It depends on the contract, brother. You ain't answering the question. Nah, nah, no, 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 hold up, hold up. First, I don't first, think so. I don't think I so. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Look, look we don't all got to yell. Look, we don't... Uh, we don't all got to yell. We don't all got to yell. And that's not true. Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury just fought. He just beat Wilder. And that fight was not no lion shit. It was split down the middle. But their first fight, he did have a higher percentage. The one that ended in a draw. So... It's a possibility that Tyson could go into the AJ fight with a higher percentage, but it's also a possibility that he says, yo, we could do 50-50, I don't care, but the fight's taking place in Vegas because I'm a Vegas fighter. It's going to be on ESPN because I'm the A-side. Like, A-side don't just mean bigger Money. pot, man. Get your yeah, shit like together. That. No, no, but I'm, but I'm focusing it on that. I'm focusing yeah, because that's what I was. Now, now he's going to hold the mic in his hand and not talk into it. <laughs> what are you talking about? Because yeah, you're like this, bro. It, put it here. Right here, look. Look bro. at where mine's at. Right here, bro. Bro, it's like five and in- four inches away from my from my voice, bro. Look, everything changes the volume. Look, this changes. You know, you know what it changes, is? You know what it is? It's that this scream changes. A lot. I'm this more, I'm more is right here That's clear, so the people hear you nice and clear. They don't they don't confuse you saying that the Tyson isn't the A side because that's what it sounds like you're saying. That's what I said. Tyson is not. He he ain't gonna get the biggest share. That's just my opinion. But look, we're gonna. We gonna we gonna get there when we get there. Yeah. You know, right yeah. Let's not let's not but waste. I'm a, but I'm gonna remember. But I'm gonna remember this. Hey, I'm man. gonna tell you what I remember and what I gained from this. That the A side doesn't mean financial. It it could be shot calling. Yeah. It could be it could be Enrique gets to walk out first. You know, or or last. Whatever you want. You know, it could you, be. You made it. You made it seem like yo, all the money belongs to me first. Nah, because it ain't always about money. You could, be, you could, as the A side, you could say, "Look, we could split the pot, but I want the fight over here. I want right. the fight over here." Your you, comfort is is in, in put into account. Yeah, yo, listen, you the A side, you get to dictate, man. Uh, uh, that's how it's always been until it changes. Um, let's get to the next question. We got. Uh, Anthony, who says, I want to drop some jewels for my Patreon family. If you get the coronavirus, stock up on THC oil and or THC syrup. You will be able to move more easily. Just avoid smoke and dry herb burns in the first stage. They will tell you self-quarantine and only come in if you have trouble breathing. Just seemed like the flu to me. Also, drink lots of water. Obviously, avoid alcohol. Anybody Wait. here thinks that THC will protect them from the I mean, corona? I mean, I can see what he mean. I'm first of all, is he did he test positive for COVID nineteen? He ain't say and that. Is he talking about experience? Because they do say you shouldn't be vaping, you shouldn't be smoking. Um, but I mean, you know, because that that, that pound for pound. In, uh, what is that? I got the CBD right here, and that's why I am smoking because I I don't got the Corona because I stay piled up on CBD by Mikey Garcia. You know what I'm saying? 
Mikey. Well, right what is that? Pound oh, for pound. we got everything. Pound for pound. THC drops. You know what I mean? We got the bomb to put it on a, the uh, on my knee in case I'm hurting. We got <laughs> got the little nah, pills. Nah, the gummies. The gummies are smashing. No, I already destroyed the gummies. There's no more gummies. <laughs> Those are murdered. Bro, th- th- that shit works for real. I can't believe that it works. Like, you know. What? What works? The bomb? The the gummies. That's the first thing and the only thing I use so far. I haven't But that's the THC gummy. That's the that's the 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 C B D gummy for 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 relaxation, pain relief, you know, sleep Damn, aid. Need some of that. No, it's good pain management, a good alternative, man. You know that uh, you know, people for those who don't know, you drink a lot of pills, um, it really destroys your liver. Mm-hmm. So uh, if you're looking for alternatives or you maybe have a you know something. You know, you got this, with- you just Open this little uh, right on the tongue. Look, one little dabby dab of the, you know what I'm saying? And you fight that <laughs> corona. You fight that what corona. They call that the tinkle. What they call that? The tinkle. What's that? I don't tinket, know. Um, the trinket. I don't know. I don't Tinder. Know. Or, nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, they got a name for that. Like the trinket. I thought it was a dropper. It is a dropper, but it's an actual name for it. T- it it's tincture. It's T I N C R E, yeah. Right, so freaking motherfucking uh, Mike Tyson was on The Simpsons last night, and he had a wellness center. <laughs> Shit was dope, and he was selling. Do you want the tinker or the flower or the bomb? <laughs> <laughs> so it's, yeah, yeah, I want all that flower. Boxes are now coming out with you know their own farm. Bro, Honestly, payment. yo, I'm gonna sound like a like a weird hippie pothead, but like. I don't really be getting colds. I feel like it's because I smoke, man. When I when I feel my nose stuffed up, I just be exhaling throughout my nose more. Like exhale my marijuana through my nose. Yo, and it just clears me stay up. Telling me, yo, he stay telling me to do that. Yo, it clears me up. No, it'll clear you up. Bruh, it works, bro. Yo, he, I don't, yo. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it does physically, but it, it clears your nostrils. Bruh. You know what I do for my nostrils? If you want to go holistic, I do the naughty pot. What the oh, hell? Nah, yo, I done the naughty pot. Yo, that What's shit that? Great. What's that? That shit work. It's literally like a little uh think of it like a little pot of coffee. <laughs> yeah. With the little with the little, you know, that point kettle. the kettle. Like, it's like a little kettle. And you put the kettle, you know, put the water in there, whatnot. But you put a Yo, talk into the mic, motherfucker. You going in and out like Okay. Uh, so you put the uh, tip of the kettle in one nostril, and it comes out the other. What? Yeah. And it just cleans your nasal passage. But is there like a salt solution in there? Yeah. Y'all crazy, man. Yeah, what if that yeah, shit yeah. gets Yo, stuck? That shit works. What I if it gets stuff. stuck? Huh? What if it gets stuck? It don't get nah. stuck. It's nah. like you hold it, and you just point it like Bro, this. It's, it's a weird Ooh, feeling that the first time you try it, but it, it, I thought it was going to be hard. I thought it was going to be choking and shit. Yo, that's the original. That shit make your eyes water. Don't lie. Yo, that should make your nostrils come out your other side. You know what's funny, yo? Ness mentioned that, like, you know, we smoke and, like, you know, we're not, we not going to get certain things. But, yo, check it out, right? It's an FYI, real quick fact. Like, we're the only species on the face of the planet that have an endocannabinoid system. We're the only species. Why did God decide to give us an endocannabinoid system? Why? Now, we evolved to that. God, God, it was evolution. You know what I'm saying? I, I I don't know that fact for sure, but what I'm saying is that we have an endocannabinoid system, and I think that it should be used. And I think that this plant, my brothers, is a a gift from God. <laughs> Everything was used, bro. Yo, I used to tell my mom, right? Because my mom's super religious and shit. So when she found out I was smoking, I used to tell her like, "Ma, this is part of the Bible. This is um, this is the forbidden fruit." This yeah. is this is what this is what Eve metaphorically bit into. She really smoked a J, and was <laughs> and was given, um, you know, paranoia. No, she was no life. Life was revealed because you know how artists say they smoke and they get enlightened. They they they're able to create. So when she smoked, she was able to see clearly. The haze was gone. Bro, it could have been. It could have been mushrooms too, though. Yeah. Was, nah, or, nah, maybe, nah. or maybe she said she had some ayahuasca tea. It could have been that. Nah. nah, nah. <laughs> All right, let me get to one more. Let me see what we got. Who's up? Nix looking like Jimmy Rocky Cook. He's from the UK. He says, do you think Javante is dedicated enough to go further or is his high life star- staring him away 
from being in the gym 24-7? Um, you know, it, 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 you know, I want the best for him, honestly. You know, he's not somebody I'm on, I'm on here, you know, talking about or get too excited for his fights, but um I've 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 kind of grow he's kind of grown on me is probably the way I should say. It. He's kind of grown on me over the last I guess 12 months, you know, he's been a little bit more vocal on his uh social media platforms and he said you know little funny things here and there and he and he's still putting on good performances. He kind of shit the bed with the Gamboa, you know, everybody thought he was going to knock out Gamboa and he didn't. So um, yeah, but other than that, I'm not I'm not hard on Tank, man. I, I I I understand what it was to be young, and I made so many mistakes in life, and 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 I honestly put myself in these people's positions, like when I'm thinking about the stuff that they've done, and I just wonder what what it would have been like for me to be a millionaire at 22, right. and how many mistakes I would have made at 22. That's why I, you never see me clown Shakur for the for the Miami thing, and you never see me clown. Uh, Javonta for a lot of the stuff that he done because he done a lot that but I could be talking about. Broner, though. Yeah, because he's different. Broner is over and over and over and over and over. My my man, my man already older. Broner, <laughs> Broner, that is what you know Broner for now. You don't even know him for boxing no more. Right. So we don't want to know Shakur for that. We don't want to know um um uh Gavante Davis for that. You know what I'm saying? They say birds of a get together, flock birds of a feather flock together and we know Gavante being with Brona like best friends rolling. So, I'm not I like um Gavante Tank Davis in the ring. I like his tough guy persona outside the ring, the juries and all that shit is part of the fascination of boxing to me. I mean, grew up with watching Macho Camacho do that kind of shit. But then Andre, son of God, Ward drops the 10 habits that you shouldn't do. And then a lot of these dudes look like they are in those habits, like loving the nightlife. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. And believing that you can't get beat. Yes. That Doomy's a victim of that. Man. So. Yeah. And putting drugs or alcohol in your system. Yeah. So I, I look at it. I just hope that he takes heed to these habits, any fighter, and, you know, show us the victoriousness of what you have. Be that man in the arena because you won, not because you went all out and know what it is to try to be great. I mean, looking at it like back in, in, in 12 months, you know, just like Ness said, like, there's a lot, a lot's been going on in the social media for him. You know, him back and forth with Ryan Garcia. I, I, I can't really say much um, to how he conducts, you know, his his life. Uh, if he's really beating his body up with, you know, staying out late, drinking and stuff like that. You know, you always worry about this stuff because you see it on the IG. You see certain things, but you know, IG can be a liar too. You know what I'm saying? They could be posting things, and and you might think that his everyday life is like that. And in reality, he's training or keeping himself um, in condition. I mean, he's a he's a big investment, you know, a huge investment. So um, I'm pretty sure that he got the right voices and the right people always on him. Ooh, and, ooh. Uh, who, who? Who? We still talking about Javante? Yeah, because his coach. I mean, his coach for one. Uh, um, Bro, I, I, a, man, we interview his coach enough to fit. I, I feel like his coach be like, "Yo, it's almost only so much I could do. I go only lead a horse to water." That's the kind of attitude he got. You know, when we talked about the weight, his coach right away was like, "All my other fighters made weight." Like, yo, some people are their own man, and and, and, right. and, and no coach want to take responsibility for you if you that, you out here slacking. Well, well, yeah, that's what I was getting ready to say. Like at the end of the day, you know. Gervonta can only beat Gervonta. You know what I'm saying? I don't see too many guys beating him. Even Ryan Garcia at this point, you know what I'm saying? I haven't seen... I got to see more from Ryan still for me to believe that Ryan could beat him. So. Nah, I'm warming and, up to Ryan. Uh, I'm warming up nah. to Ryan. It's on. Yeah, yeah. I'm warming it's, up. It sounds it sound good. It sound, it, it sound good cause, hold on real quick. It sounds good because now he's talking. And now you, you see the confidence now that's coming out of no, him. No, and, 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 and we know that he's training. We know that he's real training, not Mickey Mouse training. Right, not, and also not you miss know weight that he, training. He's listening, though. He's listening. He believes they they know. Somebody told him, "Yo, you could be beat, but you gotta pay attention to yep. me on how not to get beat." And yo, you know, he, he sat means. down with Renoso. Was like, "Yo, you Eddie, you think I could take him?" He's like, "Yeah, you could take him, but you gotta listen." He's like, "That's it. It's on." Yeah, and that's what's going on when you say that. Uh, what's his name? Cut, not Cunningham Ford, Kevin Ford. Nah, Kevin Cal Ford. Cal Ford, right? Yeah. Is it Calvin Ford? Calvin, yeah, from Baltimore. Yeah, Calvin Ford. That's what he means when he says all my fighters, 
making weight because they listening to him. Yep. They're not the star. Some people get to stardom and then they be like, yo, they believe the hype. You know, they yeah, the commandments, the commandments. It's the commandments. You believe your own hype. You believe that you can't be beat. So you don't train like you was. You don't train like a contender no more. That's what right. happens. I think Ryan, hopefully Ryan. I don't know. Ryan looks like he got Webber. Little- that's why Doomy pulled out your fight. He realized, yo, I can't take him. I, I I gotta be real. I cannot just keep going into these fights like this. He's seen you. He's seen you. <laughs> what are you talking why, about? Why are you trolling, bro? Webber's in the <laughs> chat. Yo, hey, yo, Izzy, no, Izzy, Izzy, no, man. That the only reason I turned down and pulled out was because of a hand injury, bro. You know, you know, you yo, know, man, yo, you know, hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, in twenty to thirty pounds. Hey, yo, at like, least, at least Jordan Baker and Jose Sands had doctors' papers. My man, somebody he hurt his hand. No doctors' papers. Mm. Yeah, yeah, didn't want to incur those bills, brother. But that's another show, man. That's Border Wars. We ain't gonna do them like that. We ain't gonna do them like that. Let's yeah, see what we got. Again, our man Tank Davis is part of the entertainment of boxing, and I appreciate him. Look, Javante. Yeah, he, Javante. Javante. Just to just to put a close out on that, my 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 thoughts. Right? Is he still going to be the man? Is he still going to you know be successful? Yeah, man. The kid got power. The kid got talent. Only person, in my opinion, right now that could beat Javante is Javante, bro. All right, we got the next one from Daniel White says, do you believe Eddie Hearn is the best promoter in the game? I mean, look, I talk about boxes, right? And, and can does the fighter tick all of them? Eddie, Eddie definitely checks a few, more than most. He's one of the best promoters. I can't say he is the best promoter. He's definitely one of the best promoters. In my opinion. Um, Eddie Hearns, fucking hands down, the best on the podium. Before a fight, after a fight, promoting the fight. Him and Bob Arum. I think, I think, ooh, him and Bob Arum. Bob Arum uh, also is good on the microphone coming up to a fight, promoting the fight, introducing his fighter. Eddie Hearns is good at it, too. I might, I have to, may have to give it to Eddie Hearns. I'm not going I mean look if you it depends right it depends how far back you want to go cuz like if you tell me who's the best promoter in the last 3 5 years I I'll say Eddie Hearn. Oh wait 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 wait. There also is Don King, right? Not, yeah, but you we could go back. Yo, Bobby, I ain't talking Bobby, about giving fights. I ain't talking about making the fight. I'm talking No, no, promoter. Promoting the fight. Bob Bob the Bob father been around for the longest, bro. And um so have him and Don King, same age. Yeah, Don King, but Don King, you know, he wasn't around for a little bit. Bruh, bruh. And, and, but Eddie, Eddie's a new face. Oh, Eddie, 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 Eddie's a new face. He fresh. You know what Bob I'm saying? The Alex, story Alex, Alex, you understand saying- you understand that you start off talking into the mic, then you just keep turning your head. So he if you fades. just moved your hand instead of your head, that would be better. You 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 like to turn your head to the mic and then you, look you straight. You just need a stand. He needs a stand. Yeah, so my, 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 my mic arm still. still but look, but box. he still moves his head. He doesn't understand. Like when you move your head, Yo, the audio but, changes. But, but but my mouth is still on the phone. No no, mic it changes. It changes. Look. Nah, look, but it does change. Look, you know why? It's look, the mic. He look, got. Look look look. You don't see how mine changes? Can't you see this? You don't hear that? What's wrong with you, bro? It's the condenser. This is, this, and yo, and it's funny as hell because this, this is I'm, this is his I'm thing. Gonna go, I'm going to go dark right now and I'm going to get my mic arm on. This. I'm going to get your mic face. Bro, this is his thing. You know that, right? Like, how, how long have we been doing this with him and always got to tell him, yo, talking to the mic? Even live oh, at, 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 okay. at Podcast at, Row. At Podcast Row, yeah. Now, I was going to oh, say... Oh, you did a mic on me right now? What? <laughs> you just did a mic? <laughs> at Podcast Row, yeah, okay. <laughs> nah, nah, I ain't trying to do a mic. You nah, but you're right. Um, I wanted to talk about Don King being a dope ass promoter. Man, he the can't, way he, he can't be, bro. His time is done. If he was dope, he still be around like LL and Jay Z. He not. He ain't. He ain't LL and Jay Z. He's more like. He's more like. Hell yeah, LL still around. Somehow he still find a way to stay relevant. Unlike other rappers, you know, other rappers from that time. But no, but he's like acting. He's not dropping albums. I mean, don't LL got his own talk show or some shit, bro? I don't know. I don't watch it. 
I mean, I'm sure he do. Uh, and also, not a lot of people have that. Like, T.I. is another one. He was on, like, you know, him and Ice Cube came back out with Hollywood Squares. Um, I, I'm just saying, Don King would grab the microphone. He was a beast. Back he in the was, day, though. Yeah, back in the days. He was the whole. I mean, the and question what, the question was, who, who's the best promoter now? Like, All right. It is, I would say, lyricist. I would say Aram is Nas. And Eddie Hearn is Hove, you know. But but the greatest Man, quote of all time is Don King. He was like, "I don't promote boxing. I promote people. Boxing is the catalyst to bring people together." You know what I'm saying? And what does that mean? He brought the audience together. That was the boxing was the catalyst. So I always thought that was an infamous line. That's all. I mean, look, he was he was he was he was very good with words. But the, the biggest issue with Don King is that, you know, he was robbing people. Nobody was that happy with him. But they but, also say that about Bob Arum. You nah. know what I'm saying? I guess, I guess boxing, they said that nah. about Bob Arum. Stop. Nah. That's why he didn't have Cotto. That's why he didn't have Mayweather. That's why De La Hoya left. It could go on and ain't on. Ain't nobody, and on. but they ain't say they left because he was robbing them, man. Come on, man. Oh, they, no. They said he was robbing them by not promoting them. People were saying, oh, he robbing Terrence, but obviously Terrence staying for Robbing some Terrence? What the? Man, you just saying shit now, bro. Nah, I, I remember a couple years bro, ago. Bro, Terrence was, getting yo, paid over there, man. You, you bugging. He is getting paid. He got an $8 million fight, right? I don't so. know, but he getting paid. Anyway, going to Guna. 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 He said, Fury schools everyone in heavyweight boxing. Agree or disagree? Um, Schools. <sighs> Honestly, man, I, I thought Wilder was his toughest fight, just like I thought he was Wilder's toughest fight. I can't see AJ beating him. Um, So I say, yeah, man, he probably does so, right now school everybody in the top of the division. Um, I don't understand. How does he school? School like like division? like spanks them, like spanks them. That's a school. Yeah, but based off, I know what that means. But based off of the Wilder win, but before that, we were like, "Yo, he gonna lose against Wilder." Yeah, and then he shocked you and knocked out Wilder. But some people still think there's some foul play in that fight. I, I'm just saying. Allegedly, I'm not saying that's what it is. I'm just saying there is that argument. Nah, nobody believed that. Not me, bro. Well, your man Doomy went to get the mic stand and is gone. All right, we go on the next one. Uh, Carlito says, I robbed Black Street on the back street in the black Jeep. What? <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait. Who's I that? robbed Black Street. I robbed Black Street on the back street in the black Jeep. One at a time. Get out and take off your shine. Did you ever think that you would be this rich? Did you ever think that you would be... No, did you ever think that I would have this hits? Did you ever think that I'd flash the nine and walk off your, with your shit like it's mine? How to rob? Uh-huh. That's Cameron. Nah, it's 50. Oh, okay, 50. Damn, I knew it was somebody like that. I, I started by saying that's M in the beginning, but then I was like, damn, that shit sound, that word plays Yeah, but I put on. him on. I put him on, bro. I put them mm-hmm. on a couple days ago. Like, yo, how y'all ain't never heard of How to Rob, bro? Because I'm telling all these rappers listening to the show, like, yo, why can't y'all make me a boxing's version of How to Rob, right? Right, right, Henry? Because you know me and you creative. Imagine that. If somebody, right. you you remember how hot a Rob was? He talked about every rapper, R&B singer. Like, he he, he yeah. intertwined everybody in one fucking song. And that that's what I want. He got blacklisted, but he's bigger than ever afterwards. Mm-hmm. I, want, I, want, I want them to do that with boxing. Who? You know? How? how? A so rapper. Like? A rapper. You can use uh, the same beat. And do a how to rob with boxing. You could rob the rappers, or it could just be, uh, you know, a, a song where you talk about the rappers. You know what I'm saying? Rapper kind of ch- raps change nowadays, though, man. What you mean? Metaphors is metaphors. It's metaphors. The reason but, this know. song can't bump to this generation is because they don't know who the fuck Backstreet is. You know? Yeah, yeah, but there was a there was an era of where you say something. And they took it personal, 
And that was the example that they're using now. Like, fuck that. That ain't none of my business. Or, yo, that's my man. Or, I ain't going to say that. I ain't trying to be. Yeah, but you ain't got to do a how to rob. You ain't got to rob the boxers. You could just do a rap that includes all boxers. Oh, I see. You know what I mean? Somebody just had a lyric that was like, I jab you like something. I'm trying to remember who said that. I parry the jab. Nah, that was... um. It wasn't no boxing name thrown out. But, um, damn, Big Nick said boxing raps barely come off well, man. In the UK, maybe, dog. We got fire nah, balls. There's, there's, some, there's some balls. Like, I think, I think, like, Little Wayne be throwing a lot of box reference. Rocks reference. Box re- Boxer reference. Oh. Like, he was like, I beat your ass like De La Hoya, Trinidad, Oscar, some shit like that. Um, <laughs> Yo, album. what's this? Lloyd Banks, Officer Down. You heard that? Nah. Let me see if I Google search what we got. That's Daniel White. What do you... Because, uh... Damn. When, when this drop? When this drop? Officer Down, 2009. Damn, it's some old shit. We're going to have to listen to that. Laters. But uh, 2009, that must be some fire. Because that what's your favorite diss track? Mine? Yeah. Oh, man, back to back. Yo, how he going to say his favorite diss track was Miss Jackson? I hate when people tell me that shit. A lot, a lot of them motherfuckers who's like from the Midwest and shit, like Texas and all like country, not country, but you know, like Southern. They well, big as hell. Like they big as they, hell on Andre 3000. Nah, but you know what? Andre 3000, everyone's like, yo, he's a lyricist. Three stacks. And I, I, Three I stacks. <laughs> I just want to know why my man ain't never been in the cypher with the real rappers. Why he ain't never been in no, no shit with M or Hove or like Drake. Nah, he's before that. What? Hove before everybody is still in the verse with everybody. That's true. But what, what, um, what they what he's saying three uh sorry Miss Jackson was a diss track to who though no I never his knew that. his favorite his favorite diss track was Miss Jackson and check well, who was who was uh three stacks dissing I don't know man but he was kind of <laughs> going in in it but it was subliminal though I mean when isn't rap. No, this tracks are straight clear. Hoves of super not everybody, ugly. not everybody, not everybody. Not everybody. No, just I hear you. I hear you. It's a it's a rap out song. You know what I'm saying? Like when Nas went at Hove, Ether, he dropped Hove name. When Fifty went at Ja Rule and Ja Rule went back, it was clear. When Nicki Minaj went at who she went at. Um, I don't Fat know. Joe, Remy Martin. Then they go back and forth. Uh, yeah. I mean, I don't know that they did balls without each other. Yeah, I think they did. And they were, yeah. And it was that clear. must have been when Remy just got back back on because she's a lot bigger after after Love and Hip Hop. And and honestly, her she she's a real good lyricist. I know Nicki yeah. go hard, but. That would be interesting to see that rap battle. Look it up. It's For out there. Real. Nah, but I don't want old Remy. I need new Remy, more confident Remy, money Remy. Not just oh, out of jail, cool. Remy. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Like, Papoose, give me more bars, Remy. Nah, you. she never needed Papoose. You disrespectful. I mean, that's what Nikki said. That's what I'm referencing. Really? Yeah, man, you got to look that shit up. She disrespectful. She know Remy was spitting balls before she even met Pat Poos. Okay. I don't even well, know why you would play Remy. Remy the only... Remy crazy, bro. How Remy catch a body? All right, champ. Oh, he back like with the what's mm. up, though. Finally, what up, though? Mm. Yo, you, you should have seen where this one was. I went through like eight boxes that I still Damn, have left on Damn, now he got an official mic on. Oh, is that a new mic, too? Yeah, this the mic that uh, you had taught me to um get. Uh, Look audio. at that. Your mouth is side and you still hear that shit. Yeah, but you I, still should I, put I, it a little I, bit closer. Hold, but on, we hold, good. On, hold on. Do me. You hear this, though? Hold on. Do you hear this? Tell me if you hear this real quick. 
I mean, that shit, you ain't playing it through no sound, boy. You just playing that shit in your room. <laughs> Final cut. <laughs> I didn't put it on a soundboard. Yeah, okay, yeah. So it's it. coming out the computer speakers. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We heard it. We heard it. I, Let me get this so, some more. What we got, man? What we got? We got how long y'all see this quarantine last? I need my boxing, bruv. Damn, uh, Earthquake, you from the UK? Or you, or you like me, you adapted to bruv. Because I've definitely adapted to bruv. But, uh, yo, man, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm hoping this shit get over quick because, like, bruh, I need a vacation, bruh. Like, I haven't been, I was just nonstop, you know what I'm saying? Like, normally me and my girl go out for Valentine's. That was shelved, you know what I'm saying? Then I normally do my birthday. It's looking like my birthday about to get shelved. Crazy. Bruh, I'm 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 stuck on bruh with a U H at the end. B R U. Nah, bruv is the U K with the U V. Bruh, I got you. I understand, but I'm just telling you, I'm a bruh. I'm a bruh so, from the full flow. Um, this this fifth quarantine, flow, flow. man, I'm hoping is over soon, man. This shit is hurting me to terribly. Financially, right? Hurting the pockets on a lot of people, bro. Them jobs <laughs> shut down. Like, everything shut down, down, down. Like, I drove. It's scary, too, man. I drive with latex gloves. I mean, I don't drive with them on. My car is clean as fuck. I get out of my car, put the latex on. You know, um, it's just bad out there, man. I go to the fucking supermarket. Whole Foods, I like to shop at. Shit is on E. Everybody's shopping with gloves and mask on. There's barely anything to buy. Like, I've been dying to find some Lysol or hand sanitizer or alcohol, which I have. I haven't used the alcohol yet, but uh, it's just real bad. I haven't gone to New York City. That shit is shut down. Uh, barbershop is shut down. So I'll be wolfed out. I'll be looking like Doomy soon. And it's just getting crazy. Bro, I'm here. already in route because last week I was going to get it cut. And my girl like, yo, you really about to get a cut? I'm like, yo, you know what? Dominicans be the last one to take shit serious. I'm not going to that barber shop, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They shut, they shut it down in Jersey, though. Bro, I could see them like, hey, get corona el diablo. Tu quieres una corona? Hey, pasa una fría. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yo, fuck that. Oh, I'm out here woofing right now. now. Yo, my, bar my barber doing house calls, bro. Nah. I might just get a cut if if nah, you ain't coming um, to my house. Man. Another two, Fuck three that. weeks, man. I'm gonna be looking crazy. I don't this want nobody to happen, come to my bro. house, bro. I'm telling you, limited list of guests come through this door. Fuck that. Yo, I seen people where I live right now because I got a house and an apartment. I live in an apartment building. I see people who have signs on their door: no guests to further notice. Mm -hmm. Damn. I was like, yo, I hope they're not sick. I hold my breath. As I walk by that apartment. I mean, that now, sign don't make sense, though, right? Like, no guests. Like, what the freak does that even mean? Like, do random people just knock on your door trying to chill on your couch? Like, what the hell that mean? Maybe, maybe, like, their cousin or their neighbors and shit like Bruh, that. Bruh, that's you know what, what I'm saying, though. Like, who wouldn't know that shit? My doormat says, did you call first? <laughs> All right, Jim. Mm. Like that. You moved? Where you live now? Yeah, Whoa, nah, too much TMI, TMI. Nah, I ain't got to say the street and the address and apartment. I'm hey, just yo, where is born? I live at 355, bro. Damn. <laughs> 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 oh, like 355. I know where he's at. <laughs> yo. Like, what? Doomy said that the fight ain't happening. <laughs> yo, so the next one is from Jordan Baker. Damn. Jordan Baker, who says, uh, how long before you start promoting a boxer? Honestly, man, it, it, it takes finances, man. We listening to it every day we do an interview, bro. Um, if you ain't got the way to get that fight of fights, you got to have the bread to get them fights in Mexico to keep that record moving, keep that record, you know. It's going to take a, it's gonna take the person. First of all, it's going to take the person for me to jump out the window, but it, it'll happen. Once I see the talented person that I can invest in, right, because at the end of the day, it's a gamble. You got it you want you gonna have to you gonna have to pay that fifteen to three thousand to get him them fights. You gonna put your ass out there with every connection you have to get him on cards and to get him on TV and and you gotta wish and pray that this motherfucker is gonna win because you, right. you know you gotta match make too because they might match make against you yeah and you 
you might get it for the money. But now nah, I um one time read an article a long time ago before the boxing voice. Uh, Lou DeBella said it cost him a million dollars to make a fight a ten and zero. I don't know how true that is. Yeah, I also, a million a million dollars because he made him ten and zero on TV. Maybe that's the case. Cause bro, I also I don't know if y'all remember this heavyweight called Monty Barrett. Yeah, I I met him. I sparred a him. Huh? I sparred him. You sparred him. I met him a long time ago. You sparred the old Monty, but I met him a long time ago, and he was like, "Yo, God give it, God take it away." I was eating McDonald's. He met Don King. Don King gave him ten thousand dollars. So we don't know what obligation he had behind that ten thousand. Motherfucker, he had to be a heavyweight for Don King. What else? Nah, I understand that, but that sounds so little, right? Nowadays, seeing what these fighters be getting. I mean, nowadays, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, this was probably like ninety eight or early two thousands. You know, like two thousand. Wow, but ten thousand right now. Right now, you got ten thousand dollars, bro. Ninety eight, uh, ninety eight, early two thousand. What was the price of coke, motherfucker? Coke, coke price up right now too. Like nothing is the same. That's what I'm Inflation saying. Like ten thousand back then was probably a lot, bro. I'm using ten thousand now to promote a fighter that ain't promising. Like you're not gonna get that ten thousand back. You just nah. You that can get 10, that ten thousand back. You can get that back, bro. Well, I don't know the game. I'm just you gonna get it. It's not gonna be. T- you ain't gonna give me ten thousand to invest in a fight, and it's gonna happen overnight, though. That ain't that ain't this type of investment. You are looking for that? You better go invest your ten thousand somewhere else. But nah, you but definitely- Don King gave the man ten thousand dollars just to train. But he's a fight. Oh my god, you're fucking hardhead. Then I just say ten thousand to be a heavyweight fighter. Oh, okay. I was just saying, <laughs> ten thousand right now. If you got a fighter that you believe in, and you like, yo, and he don't work, he's at Home Depot or whatever. It's different it though, Enrique. Hold on, bro. You bugging right now, bro. You never thinking this fully. It's different. If I'm Don King, right? If I'm Don King, right? It's not different. It's not different because I can What's... still give a heavyweight, right? Right. Ten thousand. And get him a fight. You understand what but I'm saying? That's not what I was saying. I understand that. But you are not Don King. So I was just saying it's expensive to maintain a fighter and promote him. Absolutely. So I, I'm using the 10,000 of 1998. Yeah, but the 10,000 works now is what I'm telling you. 10,000 for any fighter right now is a good start. It depends. 10,000 right now could be what? Uh, for, a, for a camp maybe? No, fuck out of here, bro. Nah, that's just him to be loyal to you. Man, y'all bugging, man. Ten, yo, 10,000 is almost like fucking six fights right now, bro. It depends. It could be six or it could be three. It depends on, you know, who you know and how much you got to pay to get that fight on. I mean, if you if you got 10,000 for a camp and you are paying your your fighter weekly in order for him to be able to take care of his, you know, his things, family whatnot. You ain't got 10,000 for no camp. You ain't what the fuck you talking about? Y'all ain't no who who are you? Who are you to get 10,000 for a camp? You are you are o and o fighter with, still wet behind the ears and we trying to build you up. What you mean 10,000 for a camp? You want so, a signing well, bonus? How many fucking nationals you got? So, so what I'm getting to is, uh, what is that number that 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 you would be comfortable with? If it's not ten thousand, is it five? Is it two? Is but, it three? What would be something that, let's say, you had a fighter that you, you know, you had confidence in and you were willing to invest in, and this is your first time investing in a fighter for the first camp? Um, what, you know, what? Bro, we're what not is giving the, him shit for his camp. What are you talking about? Why you keep using the word camp? So, what are you? So, for your fight, first fighter, what are you doing? This is a, this I can't is like give you a my, fantasy football, right? I can't give y'all my, my, my plan because my plan is real. My plan is going to really happen. I just haven't found the fighter. I got all the connections. It ain't, he ain't lying. Look, Carlito said, <clears throat> Carlito was the one that <clears throat> replied to Jordan Baker. Jordan Baker said, how long until you start promoting a boxer? Carlito comes I, back and says, or managing. Definitely got enough connections to do so, which I do. If I had the money and the fighter... I mean, you know, first of all, I'm not worrying about camp because I'm not paying for camp. You know, again, I got the connections. My fighter, it depends what weight. I get him sparring anywhere. It all depends depends on what. No, it don't. 
how much of a good investment it's going to be in order for you to uh, nah, throw. Think, now, I it's think, about talent. Think. It's about talent. That's yeah. it. Because my fighter, I get it. Look, I took Donnell to Alabama. He sparred in Dongo. Ain't nobody charge him. And they ain't damn sure ain't charge me. So what I'm saying is when I got a fighter, we going to Ronnie Shields. You going to spar F.A. because of me. Yeah, and you going to go and you going to go to Alabama and spar Wilder yeah. cuz of nah. me. Yeah. So no. so so the fighter got to take care of himself then as far as you know. Nah, what, man, listen, 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 yeah. listen. We 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 a team. See, that's what I'm saying. It got to be the right fighter. I can't exactly. just have some dude who think he a diva because if you a diva, where's your nationals at? That that's where I'm getting at. No, but the, know, again, so we, 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 it we ain't going to be me fighters. though. It ain't going to be me because he going to know. you. Everybody know how I am. This is how I am in front of you, behind you, on the side of you. So listen, bro, if you ain't got no nationals, you can't even be talking to me. You lucky I'm bringing you in these camps. You heard what your Daisy Green said today. I got to spar John Bowser. My fighter is spar John Bowser too. I call Sean George. You know, there's nobody I can't call, nigga. I'll have you anywhere getting the best work in the world. But you got to do your part. Though. That's you got to do your part. You got to be quiet and fucking work. Yeah, you know what now I'm saying? y'all talking and two gonna, different levels. And we going we gonna to be in the car, too, because we ain't got the money. If we got 10000 if we got 10000 10000 is to get you fights. The car is to get you trained. That's your camp. Nigga, you ain't get no camp money. We driving right. to get you some spawn. It depends who you are. It depends what weight, though. You know, it nice. don't matter what yeah. weight. I take you anywhere. I could take you down to Tevin's. And get you or anything. I can take you anywhere. It's, it's the fighter. I need the right fighter. It's the right yeah. fighter. Y'all talking stages though. Like Ness is talking entry level. Stages. Yeah, I'm talking the beginning. Cause yeah, that's do be cause talking you, like yo. I'm ten and zero. No, nah, nah, you nah, can't nah, talk nah. like that. You can't talk like that because what if he never nah. get the ten and zero? No, no, no. This is all talk. Remember, fellas, we're talking and and we're getting to see the 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 beginnings and the thoughts of what of what Ness. Can and might or might not do, and uh, I think bro, the, the listen. People, if the if I get a them. dude in the tri-state area, even if I don't got a dude in the tri-state area, like if I got a dude and he and I seen the talent, he gonna have to relocate. It's gonna be no different than Rocky with Tommy Morrison. He gonna sleep in my couch, cause that's where we at. I don't got no money to put you in your own spot, and you ain't got no money to put yourself in your own spot. But guess who got the connections? Me. So what you gonna do? You gonna stay living in Michigan, or you gonna come over here where I can get you sparring? In the tri-state area. I could take you to Danny's gym. You could spar Danny. It depends your weight, too. It depends your weight. But once I know your weight, I start making the fucking plans. It's just that simple. But it ain't... Listen, I'm, there's no gym other than the gyms I tell you that I'm not invited to. Uh, you know, anybody else. Like, yo, if, if, if you were 140, we going to Robert Garcia. And, and who's going to tell me no? Especially a guy like Robert. Like, I, I'm going to be honest. There's certain people that might say no, you know, but a, a guy like Robert, like, Robert, yo, this is my first fighter, you know, I'm just, look, boom. Yeah, of course. Spar with Mikey. Throw him in there with the Wolves. But fighters are like, um, trainers are like that, like gym Dog, owners, look, they're ready. I, I, I took Doomsday and his cousin around the world, and, and I was offering to spar with anybody. They ain't wanted to get in there with that. Word. I was getting, Elias could have sparred Thurman if he wanted. Could have yeah. sparred Thurman. Bro, I bring you to that work. You want it, nigga? Go get it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. You make you clarified. Yeah, now, listen. Now you know what it is. It's good to talk about this, and I think I think it was a good question for us to to, to, to you know to talk about because a lot of the times you know young fighters uh, they they have a a different understanding of what what it takes and what it is. You know, some some you know they're gritty they go through the, the processes that, that, that they need to go through like every other fighter others think that it's different once you start going to pro that all of a sudden money just rains down from out of the sky and you're supposed to be taken care of in any in, in every facet nah, and it doesn't always work like that hold so, up so look for big nick big nick says ness uh you wouldn't get no top 10 or top end amateur sleeping on the couch and you're right that's what i said do you got any nationals yeah it's it depends level. It That's depends how many national, that. but but let me tell you something. I know a dude right now that got like, I think six nationals, six nationals. That means six fights, so that means six. Six different. time six national time champion, champion. six time national oh. champion, and he asks me, "Do I know anybody if I could point him uh, in the right direction for management?" And then he starts shooting other fighters like, "Yo, where is born? You can ask so and so. He'll vouch for me." You know what I mean? So I don't know what he talking about. 
not everybody, listen, look at Savannah Marshall. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It took her a minute to get signed by Mayweather. So it, 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 you just never know. You just never know. And and my story was absolutely representing a person that doesn't have any any nationals. None. No no wins, you know, no national wins, or, or rather no national championships. Um, not too many amateur fights. Someone, you know, uh, like a Brian Jennings, like a Wilder, you know, a little bit of amateur fights, trying to make money in boxing. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, but with that dog mentality, that's what I'm looking for. I mean, if you got natural talent, that's even better. You know, and if you got nationals, that's even better too. But, you know, I know how it is, man. Um, The bigger, the more leverage the fighter has, though. Absolutely. But then then there's also more that fighter requires. Right, exactly. And he might not sleep on the couch, but he might need some of his rent money. Exactly. Something, something. It's negotiable. And and, and you got to float him that. And you got to float him that. And, exactly. and listen that's to me. What that Don and listen King to me. $10, yeah, if not, if not exactly. Else will. <laughs> that's that's what the Don King ten thousand is. But he gets exactly. it out. He gets it out of the and, purse. And it humble doomsday. You see how he's not. Hey, look, we got to talk about this because at first it was like, nah, nah. I'm just saying, champ. I'm just saying, you got humble on this topic. Champ, champ. I can see. I, I, can, I, can, I, can, I can see your screen off your glasses, champ. All right, come on. We gotta we gotta uh, rush through these quickly because. Um, we're running out of time. Damn, is it? Is it? Am I reading two different pages? Holy shit! No, I'm not. All right, all right. So where's that last question at? Oh mm. no! But all right, we'll go to this one. Uh, I have a scenario. This is Dual Ingram. He says I have a scenario, and uh, I'd I'd like anyone's opinion that has been arrested. You've mm. got thirty. You're 30, excuse me, and got charged for a felony commercial burglary with two other people. This is your first arrest. You fear that a public defender isn't good enough. If you did a crime as a grown man, how much support would you expect from your family to help you get out? Would it be unreasonable for them to tell you that they won't pay for a lawyer? Would you even ask them to help you get one? Personally, I'm too prideful to ask for a handout at this point in my life for a criminal case. I mean, you're thirty. You're thirty. You're thirty. I get you, but it all it is circumstantial. Like Dumi said, depends on your um, your relationship with your family. That is true. But I'll tell you this right now. I'll tell you this. Fuck your relationship with your family. Fuck your pride. Take firsthand advice. Don't go in there with no public defender. Yeah, I was about to say not, the same. Not because it's cool and that's what rappers say. No, just because you're not going to get the best deal nah, for you. Look, they, if, you, if your other homies is going in with lawyered up and you're going in there with a defender, don't be mad if you get, you know, the shitty end of the stick, man. Because that's the way it works. Uh, you pay for your lawyer, man. Look, justice is blind, bro. Yeah, the defender going to give you the best case scenario, which isn't really on your side. You gonna have to tell your pops if he got a house to put the house up, or you gonna have to put a credit card up for fifteen thousand dollars and get a lawyer. You get and a loan or something. I mean, something. bro, nowadays you can put a lawyer on your credit card anyway. Ain't that big a deal? Yeah, no, nah, you should always have. Yo, and what's commercial burglary? I mean, that's not like strong arm. You know? Nah, that's like going into like a warehouse or something, probably. Uh, I don't know. I don't know where exactly where that falls into. Uh, it's a felony, so you know you definitely. Uh, and it's your first time, so all that all these things matters. Uh, uh, you know when when you're going up in court, but you know that first time shit don't work, man. I think I think I think what you should do is first find out what are the uh, what are, what's the extreme punishment for the crime you've committed. You know, and 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 take a right. look at that. That shit and, uh, sounded like the UK to me, commercial burglary and all that shit. So uh, I, don't I know. mean, that I thought about like truck heist. <laughs> yeah, I thought about like Walmart or some shit. <laughs> yeah, I, like, I thought about like yeah, they ran in Walmart, took a truck. And then, like, nah, McDonald's listen, listen, <laughs> people talking about people talking about if he bro, he gonna have to commit another crime for the lawyer. Nah, man, don't go in there with no public defender, bro. You could, you could, you could, you could, you could find. Postpone. You could postpone. Yeah, you could get. You could go. You could get your uh, public defender to get you an adjournment. You know what I'm saying? Wait for that next court date. Then in the meantime, work your magic to get a, a a real lawyer. And if you can't get a real lawyer, man, you better off at least getting one of them pro bono lawyers. You know what I mean? Somebody actually got a firm. But 
a crime done in three, you just got to make sure that you, whoever you did this crime with, with your homies that y'all got some sort of plan because um, if it's a type of crime where people are going to be pointing fingers at each other and stuff like that and everybody not on board. Um, you I know, mean, it's a, a burglary can... though, bro. Like, I mean, again, he he put the word commercial in front of this. So I don't know, but. They ain't going to um, ask, like, who was the leader of the, of the plan? Who put the plan into play? I'm just saying, it, burglary ain't that big a deal, man. And no no, no state. In, in no state? I don't know. Some nah, states are rough. Burglary. Yeah, I mean, bro, rough. you had to steal some federal shit for burglary. <laughs> like, wait, 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 wait. Did he say what state he's in or what country? Where he at? Bro, there's different degrees of burglary. I mean, at least in Jersey, there's different degrees of burglary, all right? You know what I'm strong saying? Strong on blur burglary. No, no, that's there's no such thing as strong on burglary. That's strong on uh, robbery. That's an aggravated uh, assault. Robbery. That's completely yeah. different from what we're talking about. That's what I'm saying. Burglary is like car breaking. theft, stealing a car, breaking into someone's house, stealing something out of the house, stealing Rob, from Rob stealing from serious. inside the store, which isn't even burglary, it's shoplifting. So like burglary right. is some small shit. It's like houses, cars. You know what I mean? Back of a commercial truck, maybe. Then he probably broke into a tractor trailer. Maybe, maybe. Let's see it here. Depends, yeah, no, it depends. If it's a victim, in, victimless crime. I mean, nah, who man. Knows, I, don't man. go in there with no PD. Without a P, well, don't go in there with a PD. Don't go in there with a public defender. Don't just don't do yeah. it. I'm telling you, they, don't do it. They call that public. And pretense. and let's and let me tell you the the best advice is this right here. Outside, you know, still pretending to lawyers, but outside of your question is. Do not let anyone in your family recommend their lawyer unless it is a criminal lawyer. You know, moms, oh, aunts, uncles, they like to be like, Bro. oh, no, use my lawyer. And this motherfucker been closing on houses all his life. That's <laughs> He about to get you. <laughs> Yo, they, they got a closing attorney in there at a criminal case and you going straight under the jail. I'm just keeping it no, real no, with no, you. No. Talk about, talk about, don't worry, I'm going to close this one. <laughs> <laughs> you off to a bid for two years <laughs> instead of five. <laughs> uh, SG Pass, Steven Chicago says, uh, what's your favorite movie of 2019? Bro, I don't even know, man. I watch so many movies, I can't tell you what's my favorite. Of Joker. What? The Joker. Oh, The Joker? Man, that yeah. shit was overrated, bro. Or if Bill Street can speak or talk. I'm gonna I'm get extra corny and say, oh damn, this came out 2020, so I gotta go back deeper. Yo, Dark Waters come out in 2020. Yo, 21 Bridges was pretty good. I like 21 Bridges. Sound like a game of cards. Terminator. Hey, yo, Countdown was good. Countdown was good. What's Countdown? I'm. Yo, y'all ain't get Countdown. That's crazy. What? Wow. Jexy was also good. Jexy was also good. That was funny as fuck. Yo, that Terminator joint was official. Yeah, like Terminator. Yo, I have my own internal question I want to ask. Anybody heard the J Electronica? Mario did. With Jay-Z album? Yeah, Mario did. That shit is hard, man. That shit is inspirational. Mm, no, nah, I haven't heard it. It's God body. If you if you go back to two thousand, that's a feeling right there. That album is a feeling. But I only you only could relate if you like. I think if you from the west, uh, east coast, I don't know how like Texas can relate to it though. It's like yeah. the language. It's like the language, and the freaking culture jogging is all there, man. It reminds me of like. Early 2000s. Yo, we got hella questions still left. What the fuck? Let's keep go, it, champ. Keep it going, champ. Joe says, suggestion. Since we're all at home getting fat, let's do some kind of workout challenge. Submit videos, maybe 50 push-ups a day challenge or something like that. Thinking emoji. I think I think you got to do push-ups regardless or go jogging. I, I saw a guy jogging. It's raining over here. He was jogging inside the parking lot. It goes six stories up. He was running up and back down. I was jealous because I didn't run today because of the rain. Yeah, he was in there with his headphones going up, back down, up, back down. And I was listening to the breaking news on the coronavirus on 1010s. And this dude was, he came back down. And I was in there like 20 minutes. I was like, yo, this dude is running up and down in the garage. 
I should be doing that. Mm. Mm. He inspired you. That's what it's all about. Yeah. Next one. Jam- it- so what? We we we're not gonna quickly say a TBV twenty twenty push up a day challenge. I think I think if we do a morning show at nine a.m., we should be doing a hundred push ups or more, ah, and the show man. is done. <laughs> Oh, man, I'm going to do it. You I was wild. already contemplating that. You wilding right now. Before yo, the show yo, is done? Yo, let's call it walk walk through the door push-up challenge. Every time you pass your door in your house, any door, you got to drop and give me five. Man, you wild. That's right whack. Now. Five you is wild. whack. My son got a pull-up There's no accountability. On door. Every time he pass, every time I pass, I'm doing till failure. Damn. Oh, yeah. so, you, so how many, yo, because I walk through these doors a lot, champ. <laughs> I might be doing it like a hundred and something push-ups. Like. Yeah, but five, don't, you don't do much. You say five, boom, done. Mm, yo, but, but imagine you pass that door like 20 times a day. Look at what Joe done started. Let me get to the next one. <clears throat> Excuse me. Intrigue the Incredible says, let's do a TBV monthly boxing rankings for each division, starting with welterweight division. I like it. I mean, uh, Mario is back, and he always wanted to do rankings. There's a few other people that wanted to get involved. I mean, I, 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 I think it's a, it's 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 a damn demanding task. So I always like said no. How deep though? Like top fifteen, top ten, top five per division. Bruh, like you know, it's a lot. It's rankings a lot. It's change a lot. every day, bro. Fights happen all over the world. It's just such a v- very it's difficult. Real. Very difficult to stay up on top, but you know, y'all can have fun. Uh, Joseph Supermax says, "Tell us about your first most memorable fist fight you had growing up." <laughs> Damn, Brick City. <laughs> Damn, bro. Um, I got one. If you want to think about that, <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Tell yours. Yo, I think what, and I'm, I'm gonna take it back to high school, B. I'm gonna take it back to high school, man. Um, it, it, the whole high school, the whole Elizabeth High School watched that fight, bro. It was crazy. Uh, I fought this kid named Ralph. Um, so stupid the way it happened, too, man. I'm, I'm walking with my boy Adam and Rosie, and we, we walking home and shit. And, um, they knew this kid, Ralph. I didn't know him until that day when I met him. Unfortunately, I had to fight him, <laughs> but he's walking behind. And he's like calling at him. He's like, yeah, yo, yo, hold up, hold up. And he turned around. He tell Rosie, like, yeah, that's Ralph. So, yo, for some stupid ass reason, man, in my head, I thought about the Muffet Babies. Remember the dog, Ralph? Yeah, I don't know the Muffet Babies. Well, yeah. the way- Muffet or Muppet? The Muppet. The- I know you're talking about. Yeah, the Muffet Baby, Ralph. So I started laughing, but it was so comical. I'm like, oh, shit, Ralph. Ralph from the Muffet Babies. And I'm walking, looking straight. And then Rosie and Adam ain't next to me. I'm like, what the fuck? I turn around, they holding Ralph back. And Ralph like, nah, he's a Puerto Rican kid too, man. Like, yeah. Da, 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 da. And I'm like, I'm, I'm shocked, bro, because I'm laughing. <laughs> and he's just like, nah, nah, fuck that. And I'm like, what, he want to fight? I was like, yo, let him go. Let him go. Like, nah, 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 nah. So, bro, big ass group start forming. You know how it is in high school. Big ass group, big ass circle start forming. So then the, they're like, nah, we're not going to do it right here in the corner. We're in the corner of, this, of the high school. Nah, we got to go by the bridge. It was like a, like a half a block away from the high school. And I remember my mans and them and shit, you know, they were a little older than me at the time, like two or three years older than me, but they had my back or whatnot. Like, nah, it's going to be a fair one. Bro, the whole high school was there, but it was crazy. So I start banging with Ralph. Ralph, you know, he comes in swinging. I did. I catch him with one and I tackle him, right? And I get him on the ground. I start ground and pounding him. I'm beating the shit out of Ralph, bro. Out of nowhere, I get hooked in the mouth, my nigga. I'm talking about this man came from up top, hit me with a hook in the mouth. And I guess it must have been God or the adrenaline rushing, bro. I ain't even get knocked out or nothing. I just stopped hitting old boy. And I got up and I was like, yo, who hit me in the mouth? <laughs> and, 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 bro. Somebody raised their hand. Nah, yo, it was like so many people around me, dog. And I'm like, who hit me in the mouth? Who hit me in the mouth? And everybody's pointing. You know, everything going so fast. Everybody's pointing, like, towards that direction. And I'm like, and I look at that direction, and I see old boy running. I find out later that the guy who hit me was an older dude who used to kind of, like, look at this kid like a like a baby brother type thing. You feel me? I must have been grounding, pounding him too hard. <laughs> he felt bad, and he hooked me, but nobody hooked him. Like his you know what I'm saying? 
Nah, nobody who said they had my back. Oh, don't worry about it. going to be a friend. This guy just hooked. But he, it turned out, you know, he was gang related or whatnot. There was a lot of gangs there. But so. he belonged He belonged to a certain gang. And the people who, it was it was complicated politics, right? That's why nobody hit him. But he ran. It's not like he stood around. You feel me? Because I was going to jump on his ass. But he ran. So I started running. I said, fuck Ralph. I started running after dude. And, man, I'll never forget the security guard, man. I seen him, the, um like, a few months ago, man. I said hi to him, and I, I let him know how much of an impact he had in my life, man, Mr. Gilbert. And uh, Mr. Gilbert is a boxing fan, and he used to box when he was younger. And um, he knew me from uh, school one, elementary school. And, um, you know, I, I used to fight a lot. So um, he just – he stopped me, man. He stopped me. He grabbed me. He was like, Alex. What are you doing? And it was like, you know, I looked at him like a, a somebody that I respected. You know what I'm saying? He knew he knew a lot about me growing up as a kid and whatnot. And I'm in high school now, still doing the same shit. So he's like, Alex, you're still doing the same thing, man. What's going on with you, Alex? Bro, he said that to me, bro. And Hit he, you with he the guilt me, trip. He, bro, he get, but he gave me this look, Ness, Rick, man, that like, I just forgot about the whole fight, bro. I became a kid, you know, just like a, a, a son type of thing. You know what I'm saying? I was just like, damn. I was like, Mr. Gilbert, I ain't even started, man. He's like, you better get out of here. And then my man John came up to me like, yo, Al, we got to go. We got to go, bro. I start running in like nine, 12 cop cars, bro. They brought the whole platoon, Jeeps, patrol cars. I'm running away. They come into the scene. And uh, I ended up just going to my boy's house, man. And fucking just cooling off, man. And um, I think that's one of them. You know, I've had a whole bunch of them. But as far as like. Memorable. Lot, yeah, memorable. And a lot of people being there and shit. It was that high school moment, man. It was crazy. It was like hundreds of people, bro. But what was the question? The original question? What was the most memorable fist fight you had in um in the streets? Oh, damn. Shit. Um, I went to Job Corps. I don't know if y'all heard of that shit. Mm-hmm. But, oh, we heard of Job Corps. <laughs> yeah. So I, it was like. 10th grade job course. I was like 16 and this shit was gang infested. Like the dude that would like introduce you. I forgot what he's called, but he was like the dorm buddy. He was a Decepticon. (laughs) Anyway, you know what I'm saying? So they trying to recruit you immediately. And I always been like this cool ass dude that just like, I, if I had two pair of Levi's, I had two pair of Stonewash Levi's. I was dressed to do it right, right? So girls always were attracted. I was always cool. So one day in job core at night, the dorm, the dorm room, you have to be on your dorm at nine and lights out at 10. So I'm walking through the, the, the dorm hallway and they mopping and like it was segregated to use that word because it would be like the first time I ever learned the VI, which was like the Caribbean Islands, Virgin Islands. It was like St. Thomas, St. John's, and another one, they were allowed in job court because they were American islands. And then there was, like, Jamaicans. They used to all roll to each other, and they used to call themselves princes. And then it was, of course, the Latin kings. But I had, I was in a Decepticon room. So, But I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't Decept, though, right? So I'm walking down the hall, and I get pushed into this fucking room. The lights are out, and I'm getting hit. I'm getting hit with shit. I'm blocking. I can't see shit. But a little red light on a radio... So I grab that light and I throw it. Boom. Now Damn. the lights come on. Yo, who the fuck broke my radio? So now I see everybody in the room. So I go, I run into my room, and my my one of my best friends was a DCEP. So I was like, yo, I remember his name was DeAndre. Yo, they try to jump me. And right away, they're like, you gotta shoot the five. You shooting the five? Everybody wanna see the five be shot, right? So I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna shoot the five. Right, so boom, I shoot the five. I always thought I had a jab, so I'm fighting. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm fight- <laughs> so I'm fighting this dude. Bah, 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 bah. We start wrestling. Bah, bah, bah. He's scared. Whoa, I'm pulling his hair, everything. He like dreads everything. I'm fighting, bah, punching him up. Boom. So now my man DeAndre say, "Who else want it? This dude named Bushwick. I want it. I'm like, damn, oh, shit. shit. Yeah. So now somebody else want it." Boom, so now we fighting. But he hit me a lot. <laughs> he hit me a lot. He had locking me now. He was stronger than me. And I'm like, <laughs> turning it into like a slam fest. Boom, once I slammed him and he on the floor about to get up, I kicked him in the face, grabbed the iron. We had an iron. Threw that shit. 
Boom, they break it up. No more, no more, no more. But this motherfucker bit my arm. I was bloody and everything. They gave me the AIDS test. Shit was violent, man. They was about to arrest us. That was my most memorable, biggest fight as a 16-year-old in Job Corps. Fast forward, I'm like 21. I'm home, right? I mean, not home like jail, none of that shit. But like, I'm <laughs> home. I'm, I'm free. <laughs> I'm free, right? I'm dating this fine-ass girl. She got this the first girl I ever had with a fire-ass Mitsubishi clips, right? We go visit her pops. And uh, in in Queens, and she get out the car first, and this car roll up, and he's saying they like it's a car full of dudes. Yo, ma, what up, ma? You remember them days? Hey, yo, shorty. Yo, what up? What up? She ignoring them. So now I'm as fuck. (laughs) I'm there. I got a chain on and shit, right? (laughs) So I gotta say something, otherwise. You know, the most fucking biggest label you get hit with is pussy, right? So I'm like, hey, yo, man, she with me. They're like, man, fuck you. I'll rob your chain. Uh, I'm like. Uh, <laughs> yo, why they trying to do you like that? Oh, it's crazy. I'm in Queens, right? And I ain't even from out there. So I'm like, yo, all right, I hope you got a gun, right? <laughs> so, uh, why, why you say that? Nah, but then I don't know what to say. So well, short, I mean, she's like, no, come on, let's go, let's go. She dragged me. We walk in the lobby of her building. They still out there. She like, fuck, I forgot my dad's gift in the car. So I'm like, oh, fuck, I get it. I go there. Her car got a fucking, the um the red, the, the side mirror. They broke that shit. Oh, uh, man. Yeah. So it was a lot of that shit, but... I was always scared of gun violence, so every time, like, I felt like a group in them ages, I always thought somebody had a gun. You know what I'm saying? Bro, a knife, bro. I mean, look, man, being jumped sucks. I mean, I don't know if y'all ever experienced that. I got got jumped. It looked like Cash Weezy did. I definitely got got jumped. jumped. I definitely got jumped. jumped. Halloween, Halloween was fucked up when back in the day, day, I'm talking about, like, seventh, eighth grade. You couldn't be on the yeah, wrong Yeah, you couldn't block go out. You couldn't go out for Halloween unless you had like a little click because you was gonna get hit not, up with eggs not, quick or robbed. Not, yo, I remember it was either get show. hit with eggs or get robbed on Halloween if you if you wasn't yeah, clicked up. Yeah, I know you remember those wars, Ness. Back in the day, they were real, bro. Come Halloween mischief night, bro. Yeah, motherfuckers was no, 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 motherfuckers was linking up forty deep per team, bro. We had we had motherfucking forts around the city with eggs. I mean stack I mean stacks and stacks, truckloads of eggs, bro. Back in the day, shit used to be crazy on on on, on mischief night. It don't. I mean, maybe because I'm not out there now, but I don't see it like it used to be. Nah, it used to be like nah. It used to be deep. crazy. It's it's nothing like. But listen, but nothing nothing, nothing is like it was anymore. It's nothing nah. like that. But like back the days we talk about, you could actually fist fight. You there's no such thing as fist fight in these days, really. You know, Remember, remember the whole fighting for the block? Ain't mm. none of that shit no more, man. Look, I, I remember I used to see the big, the big, the big homies like fight for the block, and it used to be right there on the corner, like yo, all right, we gonna fight for this, and it was all right. Now is man, it's the gun, man. Yo, I compare everything to an era, and I always say, yo, that Mob Deep Wu Tang era where I grew up, that shit was real, man. Them shits. Them shits was like, yo, fuck that. It's my shit. This is my shit. Remember them, them yeah. interludes? The yeah, LOX. That's... The LOX shit, bro. Yeah, that shit was real, man. You couldn't have... I, I always had dope sneakers. I always had like a fly... Something fly on me. So I used to not get fucked with in high school. I had the dope... Like the dope click. But Job Corps, I was in another world. When I came back and I would wind up somewhere else, it was another world. Because I didn't want to roll... Cause I saw somebody kill themselves, so I was like scared to be with people. I'm like, I'm not. I was an introvert. I was antisocial. All I wanted to get was like have weed and get some pussy and figure <laughs> out how to get money. And that Keep was it. Keep it simple. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I ain't trying to roll with no click. None of that shit. <laughs> Done. Nothing. I'm not trying to be cool no more. Only in fashion. And the shit still spilled over. You couldn't look a certain way because it's like, yo, you pussy, man. Come here. Let me rob your shit. You know? <laughs> yo. I, I, I remember my mom's lived in Newark. I'm on the phone. I had gold teeth, fucking leather trench, leather coat. <laughs> I'm on the phone, like borderline Newark, North Newark, and fucking Belleville. And I'm on a pay phone. Beepers was out. 
I'm about to buy a flip phone for three hundred dollars because I used to come. I used to still fucking like I had. Y'all want to talk about? <laughs> fucking commercial burglary, yo! <laughs> I was fucking burglar by myself. Like I got, I got in a lot of trouble crossing state lines, and I could say this now at forty-two. I got a lot of trouble. It was my twenty-first birthday. Crossing state lines was stolen properly. Fed charge, you mm. know, thirty thousand dollar bail, fifteen thousand dollar lawyer, all that kind of shit, and um. I'm on the phone. This is why everything was good for me. I'm on the phone. Boom. Yo, why somebody pull out a shotgun on me? <laughs> Newark, New Jersey. Let go. I'm like, I turn around on the pay phone. About to get a motherfucking... Remember those Motorola flip phones? They were like... Yeah, the tag. The star tag, right? Yeah, the star tech shit. $500. No, I don't oh, know how shit. the deal was. But it was $500. You got a flip phone. I'm on the beeper shit. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody hit me on the shoulder. Boom. I turn around. <laughs> Motherfucker look like naughty by nature. Run it. I don't know what to run. My pockets, my coat, my let, my gold teeth. I'm like, run what? He digging my pockets. I'm, my hands are up. I'm like, I don't know what the fuck to do. Gets all the money out. Yo, what the fuck? You clocking? Why you got all this money on you? Dog, that's how the days were, man. That whole naughty by nature, Wu Chang era, no. Mob he was, D. He was hoodied up. He was hoodied up. Nah, man, he had the naughty by nature look, man. Bare face, baby. I'm surprised, I'm surprised he ain't had a machete on him, man. Niggas, say, niggas was robbing bare face. Let's Yo, get to the pick. next one. We got uh, Scott, the Christian fight fan. It says, what up, TBV? What tools do you think our heavyweight Wilder needs to add to the toolbox for his third fight with Fury to get that W? I think he needs to stop telegraphing the right hand so much, double up the jab while mixing in some hooks to Fury's Shit. body. Well, if you want to get my opinion, um, I'm going to take it to the camp, man. What he needs is uh, to hire some really big guy. I'm talking about big guys like uh, the guys that protect Floyd Mayweather. You know what I'm you saying? You're talking about sparring? Nah. Th check this out. I mean, he needs big guys anyway. But I, I, what I would like for Wilder is for this camp, for him to have real big heavy guys, you know, either holding the belly pad or whatnot, but to lean on him, to put the, keep putting the weight on him on the inside so he knows how to fight on the inside with a very heavy, taller man on top of you. Um, definitely don't telegraph that right hand so much. Don't depend on it so much and use, uh, variations of, of, of the jab and feints in order to set that up. He can't just do what he's been doing the last few fights, man. It's going to kill him. But most of all is the preparation, the preparation to fight, uh, uh, the fury that we saw in the second fight, which was a stronger, heavier, harder hitting guy. And, um, he needs to be able to know how to fight being the smaller man for a long time he's always been the bigger guy or if not he's been neck and neck with guys but in this fight with fury especially the second one he was the smaller guy and he didn't look like he did anything in camp to train to fight as the smaller man in the ring so yeah get some big guys in there get these guys to lean on you to overwhelm you with their weight and and and, and get used to uh having a um a rough and tough guy always on top of you man because i mean I don't see Wilder, you know, coming in there and, and pulling a Fury, starting a box like Fury. You know what I'm saying? He just needs to make these little adjustments in order to get that KO. Shit, I don't know what to say, but he got to remain that tough dude that he is and always has been and motherfucking have at least three more things to do instead of that one overhand right, you know? That's all, like, set yeah. it up, <clears throat> set it up. Yeah, yeah. Set it up. Because he got the power. He just... Yeah, no, nah, you're right. It, a lot of people are expecting this guy, you know, to, for Wilder to change everything. Like, oh, he has to change his whole game. Doesn't have to do, man, every, look, fight per fight, especially in the pros, man, you, you, you know what you're going up against. You have time and you have tape and you have all the all the all the resources in order to prepare accordingly. It's just this was just something that 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 that, that we talked about earlier, right, Ness? You know, you violate those uh, commandments, and um, shit can go wrong. Right. Yep. Uh, next one is from Brandon in Cincinnati. The horn bag says Michelle Joy Phelps versus Adriana Jimenez. Who is the sexiest boxing reporter? Wait, who's Jimenez? He oh, the Colombian lady. What Colombian lady? Nah. He talking Ooh. about nah, he, talking he talking about, about Fino this. boxing. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
I don't know. Some of these reporters be looking sexy, pretty in the face, but they be having that arm fat flapping. And I don't, I don't <laughs> no disrespect, but I'm just saying, like, okay, they cute, but they can't be. Um, now nah, I take all that back. Uh, Michelle Phelps is real cute. She's sexy. Um, the little Cynthia girl, she she cute too. Um, the Colombian lady's cute. She looks like she puts it in in the gym. There's another one that I like because she's artsy with purple hair, but her fake eyelashes get on my nerves. <laughs> he like he in love with Anika. Anika boxing. Yeah, I like Anika boxing. Her. I don't even know who that is. Let yeah. me see. That. Oh, my phone dead. Shit. <laughs> yeah, she 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 sexy. I definitely like uh, go on a run with her. Meaning, like, I'd go on the track and do like a couple laps with her if she down. <laughs> So, yeah, man. Um, yeah. I echo you, man. Basically, they all all right, man. I don't, I, I, you know, nothing out you this know, world. Where same sentiments here, Ness. <laughs> yeah, but they I mean, might be saying the same about us, you know. But I know it's all good. They I know, mean, I'm I know, not, I'm I know, not I know on I the market, so they they can say whatever about me. Yeah, see, you that good. I know I bring some specialty to the table, so you roll with me. We looking good together. I ain't just going... I'm like, you got to match make me, because and you don't look good next to me, we ain't rolling. Mm. Mm. So, Jemmy says, there's no toilet paper. What the fuck? What's the next best thing? Paper towels, baby wipes, or tissue paper? A baby shower. wipes! <laughs> Baby wipes, champ. I stopped using. Bro, if you got like baby wipes, ago. bro, if you got baby wipes and you don't got toilet paper, you ain't even got a problem. First of all, what what supermarket you shopping at? They still got baby wipes, but bro, nah, you're doing good. On baby wipes. They sleeping on the baby. Uh, baby wipes, man, champ. You'll never go back. I'm telling you. Yeah, but <laughs> I, I like Enrique's idea as well. You know, what I mean, you could do the baby wipe and then just jump in the shower. Yeah, but I mean, I, there's toilet paper out here. I know that. I, ho- I don't even know what why people acting yeah. like there is no toilet paper. I think that shit was like two weeks ago when it was first announced. When shit started shutting down, people started hoarding. People you realize, know. man. People realize that coronavirus. Bro, we got to talk diarrhea. about my man, bro. We got to talk about my man from my own city, like a clown, bro. Wow. Oh, you seen yeah. him? And then and yeah. then how they gonna say he went viral? Shit only sixty nine thousand views. I wonder what it got now. Babe, wait, wait. tag what me on the dude happened? from Newark real quick. Bro, he went he he was in the hood while while the police was trying to tell everybody, you know, to you know, go ahead and practice social. Bro, distance. why they made a press conference cash and made this dude on TV be like, yo, I wasn't I was only playing this coronavirus serious. Nobody do what I did. Like, yo, this ain't no joke. Like, I was yeah. just playing. I'm like, oh man, bro. Yo, he had, he had he had it lit though. Yeah. He, he ain't have it lit. lit. He look, yo, when my girl showed me, she was like, you see this? I'm like, man, I don't even want to. Like, honestly, I don't even want to see that shit, bro. I don't, I don't like them. That's that's real ignorant people to dumb us down as a, as a culture, man. And uh, it was even more hurting. For me to know that that motherfucker was from North. <laughs> then it was even worse when I found out that's Grafton Ave, dog. Like, that's not my hood, but North North is my hood. You feel me? I'm I'm obviously not from Grafton Ave, but, like, damn, bro. I mean, just dumbing us down, that shit. And then he was just, like, hopping. Why was he hopping? His camera was, like... It Bro, was like it was like he, he had a lot of energy. My nigga, it was like he had some sort of music playing in his own fucking idiotic head, fucking dummy. You know what I'm saying? Making us look bad. He just hopping throughout the whole video like he listening to music. The cop yeah. right behind him. Now that same cop got you at the podium in front of thousands of cameras, making you apologize for the stupidity you did. It was just stupid. You an example. Straight. Dummy, but, it crashed but dummy. On a positive note, that might have changed his life. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he's now an activist or some he, shit. I, I would hope, man. I would hope That's it changed his motherfucking uh, wardrobe. My nigga looked at dusty <laughs> as hell. <laughs> my man, my man had the thermal and the do rag on, chilling. He had look, man. <laughs> Bro, that, <laughs> yo, it was the wrong. shade. Yeah, right? Yo, the what shade room wrong. reposted it. That's what's even worse, bro. Yeah, what he what he did was wrong, but it was impactful, bro, because. For a second, when I was looking at the oh video, oh my god, he, my, he got he had twenty, he had two million now on the shave room. But let me see what his got. 
Let me let me tell you how impactful that is, and it's and it's good that, that he went up and said and he apologized and, and he made it he made it that people know that this is serious. Cause, bro, when I saw him doing that, I'm like, it's anarchy out here. It's over, bro. He took it down. He took it down. But it's on the shave room. It's on the shave room with two million views. But it don't make no sense. Look, he just bouncing. No headphones on. Like, we ain't going nowhere. Yeah, we out here. Yeah. I'm like, man, just a little dumbass out here. He pulled out a, a, a wad of 20s and started showing the money. And, like, what, what, what I'm saying is that, like, videos like that are really impactful, man. And it was good they made him apologize because, bro, thinking and you seeing this shit, you thinking it's anarchy. It's over. Police lost control. Ain't nobody give a fuck no more. And there's looting and crime's about to start. Yo, I just watched Bro, but it, the worst man. part... Now, nah, let me tell you about the press conference because that's the worst part. That's where he lost his dignity. He's like, <laughs> yo, you know, you know I was just doing it for the gram. Like, that's what we do nowadays. Everything is for the gram. So, like, don't take me serious. I was just doing it for the gram. Like... Nah, that's poor excuse. No, that's fucking... Use a fucking clown doing it for the gram. Stupid ass man. Yeah, yeah, that did make <laughs> fuck yeah, out of here. Them to talk that. about talk about yo, you know that's how it is. Now everything is for the grand for likes and shit. I'm like, bro, get your just want to smack them, bro. Like a person like the that, man. To... Somebody should have saved them from that interview, though. Really, like a parent, someone. He it didn't have been... it. His lawyer probably said, "Yo, do that." His, His public defender. He had a pro bono lawyer that was like, look, man, that's the best route. Nah, you you'd, you'd have went in with a pro he bono. Did. You'd have had a pre, pre-written pre speech at least, man. Yep, at yep. least. That was the best you could find out here, man. You can't find a pro bono uh, uh, lawyer that easy. They, they said there wasn't even enough PDs to, to, to hold them down. <laughs> and, and I just watched it, man. That whole neighborhood looked crowded. That's what I'm saying. Like looking at the video, him jumping around, talking shit to the police. It was like, and in the times that we live in right now, in my mind, for a second, I'm like, yo, it's anarchy out here now. That's it. Cops yeah. done lost control. It's a different kind of ignorance, you know, when you go state to state, and the deeper you go into a hood, is a different kind of ignorance. Somebody might be fucking upset that you know you sick next door, sneezing, and you Chinese, and they won't go like beat you up, you know. That's another thing that's been kind of out there, bro. You know, the animosity towards our Chinese community, man. And, and, uh, Damn, yo, they hated on him. They hit him up in a DM and he posted this. Some lady was like, you're a dumbass. I hope you catch coronavirus, you ignorant piece of shit. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yo, because people mad. Why you got to be out there looking like a fucking clown, man? Bro, but yo, I'm glad that happened to him, though. It's over, though. That's it, man. We out of here. Let me take these calls, though. We got a few calls. She was rocking with us, rocking out, rocking out, going go up, down the though? line. Uh, we got. Yo, look, can I say this before y'all check? I got this this piece right here. I don't know. Is it blurry? What you about to do? A poem? Can... Nah, man. Is this blurry? Yo. Why that? is it blurry like that? Yeah, because you got the blur on it on your Skype, man. Yeah, but it's like in my fam, fucking. Fam, fam, fam. I told you send me PNGs, Whoa. man. Oh, that didn't work. I sent you. A I PNG. did. I put. Oh, I, I showed it. I showed it. And it worked though. Boom. I mean, what it up? ain't. It ain't feel it the way I wanted, but you know, it is what it is. Look. That's Who it. that? That's oh, that's Young Bob, man. Y'all voted him the best promoter right now. Oh, I nah. Can't we actually said Hearn, but I, I get you trying to trying to plug the yeah. shirt. And then we got you know, Gay King King, King Gab Gay. King Gabby. King Gobby right there, you know these. Yo, are but like, why? But why wouldn't you send the JPEG of those? You sent the JPEG of different ones. Today I made these today. The JPEG that I have, those were done already a long time ago. So anyway, I'm just trying to say, yo, to the listeners, like, price the shirt out so I could put it on Patreon and you could like get your way to it. Yo, WBC, John, you you showed it on the chat. What was that with the gold paint? Oh, yeah, I'm just painting during quarantine to show that we still champions in America. You know, we're going to grow, we're going to win, and we're going to be victorious. What? Like that? Yeah. <laughs> Why you hit me with the what? Let me, uh, let me get to these calls real quick. We're going uh, in ATL, Boomerang, like that. Intrigued the Incredible, what up? 
Riding in the form with a form, four Gionos on my feet, and the paint look wet. Every corner that we been, there's another broke neck. Rolling through the city, swag game on full flex. I know you see me. What? You can come back to me now. All right, all right. So uh, we got Boomerang, Trey in the Bay. What up? What up, Ness? Can y'all hear me? Yep. Yeah, Chip. Hey, man, hey, man, who the fuck calling asking TBV for legal advice? Your ass is going to prison. <laughs> 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 Motherfucker, get a lawyer. I got my law degree on Broad Street. <laughs> Motherfucker, get a, get a lawyer, man. They do free consultations, man. But the last thing you should be asking is us. God damn. That oh, motherfucker must be to broke. to jail. <laughs> <laughs> he about to do some time asking us, man. Yo, uh, he put off with a, man. This this with a about, man. lawyer. We, we gave our uh, yeah. uh, official opinion on that shit. Don't get a pup defender. <laughs> we provide hey. our legal service. <laughs> hey, man, I thought everybody knew not to get a public pretender, man. I, I thought that was... Yo, you could go through the system and motherfuckers got all the law statues written ready for Word you. Up. Like, you in here. Yo, man, I just got caught with stolen jewelry. Bro, this was <laughs> I got you. They got the advice for you. So they he he in the pens right now. He he hit us up. <laughs> he getting that paralegal. <laughs> he want people to relate to him. Like, what would you do? Hey, you Cash. Hey, Casual, you better off represent yourself than getting a motherfucking public pretender, man. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I'm representing myself in traffic court. Hey man, Cass, be that man, lawyer. I forgot what else we was talking about. That shit was so funny. I t- I come back on the boomerang. <laughs> all right, all right, Trey. Thanks for calling in. Let me see. We got uh, alumni. What's going on? You know it ain't no show without Mr. Info Joe. Tell the truth, Joe. Tell the truth. This portion of the show we call. In the nose, by my brother. Yo, what up, brothers? Yo, <laughs> what up? Yo, what up? Hey, yeah. hey, what up, do me, Kaz, Ness? Hey, shit was funny. Y'all had me rolling, man. <laughs> Y'all had me rolling. Hey, uh, first off, man, I, I do want to get that challenge up and going, man. I don't know how we going we could do it, submit videos or whatever. I'm just trying to keep us all in shape because I didn't got fat myself, bro. But uh, do it they ain't doing it. I'm gonna do it with you, Joe. You with me? Okay, okay. What's up, do me? I'm down, you with man. Me? I'm down. We just trying to see which 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 one is gonna be the push up, the pull up. We're gonna do something to get. What's it going? What's the challenge gonna be? I'm gonna do it on the show. Let's I, start off with the push up. Push ups. All you need is a floor. That's all you need. Your body and your floor. Boom, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, you know, until 20. That's all. Until failure. Keep doing that shit. Oh, so we submit videos or what? Short clips? I'm I, do say, I, say, I, say we, I say we tag each other on IG if possible. Tag each other on IG and we just keep tagging each other until all the TBB armies on this motherfucker. You know what I mean? Yo, this is crazy right here, bro. My girl just hit me up with this message from the New York Times, my nigga. Oh, man. A thousand speak it, speak it. inmates will be released from New Jersey jails, my nigga. They they got the picture of the green monster. If they really about to let dudes out, the world's coming to an end. Yeah, I seen it in oh, Philly, yeah. man. They ain't, they ain't arresting Listen nobody. To Listen to me. If you letting crime. dudes out of jail. Home arrest. Bruh, they letting them out of jail. Something is wrong. Y'all don't think something's wrong? Pris- prisoners be the last to go. That's why they riot. That's why they riot. Cause shit, nine eleven happened. They ain't let nobody out. Cause if that shit get in there, Ness, it's gonna be, Yo, it's not, gonna not grow like wildfire, man. Though. It's already in jail. It's already in jail. That that dude, uh, Wet Weinstein or whatever. Yeah. No, he possibly tested positive. Nah, he's positive. Weinstein. Damn. He's positive. Imagine they're going to use those buildings now for quarantine, and they're releasing these inmates because they're running out of places to actually right, quarantine nigga, How the fuck nah, you release bro. inmates to quarantine regular humans? Bro, because they, they don't uh, have the virus. Bro, I'm t- I it told my girl, that, if, if they start letting people out of jail, we probably ain't got no, it's probably uncurable. 
Bro, you ain't have you seen the National Guard in New York yet? They're supposed to be coming to New York and L.A. and Washington State. Have you seen them on the streets yet? I ain't yeah, seen that's nobody. what I was about to get yeah. you. The boat, they flow in hospitals, bro, in New York City. Flow in hospitals. To me, yo, New Jersey is whack. Man, you got to log on to get information. New York, you send the word COVID to a text, 692, 692. You getting updates all day. They're not telling you they releasing inmates without giving you an explanation why. You know what I'm saying? New York it's the is New like, York Times, though, bro. No, New but York that's Times. what I'm saying. They clowning the New Jersey mayor, a governor, for doing that shit. Like, what? So, if it's in the New York Times, they got to say, yo, these are nonviolent. They are made to report. They didn't take all much time. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, hey, themselves. quick question off the they air. The quick question. Rest. Do you know in Italy they saying, "Yo, don't come to the hospital, die at home." Damn. Yeah, they well, picking look, and choosing look, who look, dying if, in the, who Italy, if, man. If, the if hospital, this make man. you feel any better, they, the order applies to inmates jailed for probation violations as well as those convicted in municipal courts or sentenced for low-level crimes in Superior Court. The release right. of inmates will begin Tuesday morning. I cannot believe that shit. Commercial they probably crime. non-violent. Bruh, and, and, non-violent and, and, crime. and they releasing people who, who, who got a year or less. That's, that's fine. That's a big-ass... I, I want to know what's the strategic... No, listen, I've been to prison, so for me, I'm like, God damn, what would I have done for 12 month early release? Yeah. That shit don't nah, make no sense still on to me. Parole, though. You not free? It casual, I wouldn't care, bro. You don't I, understand. You outside, Yo, <laughs> inmates is the last, the last to go. You don't understand what I'm saying. Like, it just is crazy ones, weird. Man. So you saying these nonviolent criminals are gonna come out and destroy New Jersey? Nah. That's not what I'm saying, bro. I saw right. time. And Joe, go ahead, Joe. We ain't no, he, no. He's he, he just saying that if it's getting that bad, where they're gonna start releasing inmates, this shit is worse than what we think. And I think they ain't telling us everything. They, they never why? do. The media. Uh, yeah. the but media uh, my last matter. question the to y'all. So no, you can't use. Come media. on, Joe. You media can't ask questions. You supposed words. to put your questions in the post, man. You bugging. We just did all the questions for two hours. Let me get the Joshua. Hey, hey, and- hey Ness, you what? can clarify this because you are part of media culture. There is a thing called clickbait. So New York Times is clickbaiting their ass off because the only news is the best news is coronavirus and how south it will go. Look. But if you listen to this doctor called Anthony Fauci, who stands up next to. Donald Trump, every mm-hmm. news breaking, he got the shit that makes you keep the faith. So let's not go by media culture. Media culture destroys the brain, bro. And, and to, everything and just, is corona right now. Everything, everything, everything. Just to add a little more to that, Cash, because you're totally right, is um, just watch out for for reporters and people that are you know promoting sensationalism and and, me, and, and and especially in reporting on what's going on now you know what i'm saying a lot of sensationalism and this isn't the time for that type of uh uh, uh reporting i mean they're josh, giving you scary news but go ahead man. josh I'm, I'm north bad. carolina ringer what up oh all right oh all right josh you gotta unmute north carolina and you should not be on speakerphone, champ. Take that uh, speakerphone off, cause it's going. It's probably not going to sound good. But you still ain't unmute. You got to unmute your mic. There you go. You muted. Now good you, now. We good now. What's up with y'all? What up? What's going on, brother? Hey man, them niggas jumped me like uh on that after show. Them niggas jumped me like Jody got jumped off Baby Boy by them boy. They jumped me, cause but them niggas was <laughs> waiting. Uh, they waiting on me. Because you was talking about said, Earl. Uh, I mean, because you was talking about Bud. Yeah, I said Bud. Uh, I said he moved like a hoe. Oh, they were yeah. mad at me. Oh, about yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they was waiting for you. They thought I said that shit. It was, oh, you calling hoes and shit? We getting perked. I'm like, yo, I ain't say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> he hey, but you know, I kinda, he calling. <laughs> <laughs> they, had, they had me backpedal a little bit, but I had I kind of had to re- re-clarify my statement, but I still think he moved like a whole little bit. I don't even care Stone Bone. Stone Bone, they know everything just because he know the man. I don't give a damn about that. The nigga Yo, still move like a hoe. He don't move like a hoe. Like AJ, like, what's that but he move like a hoe. And I'm going to stick to my words. Man, I like I like that after show, though, man. I'm going to stay on that shit more often. Hey, today's show was funny as usual, bro. Hey, you need to keep, you need to keep Kaz and, uh, what's, what's the other dude's name? 
Doomy. Doomsday, bro. <laughs> Doom, yeah, bro. Hey, I like y'all, man. Y'all fool, man. Y'all keep it up, man. But that's all, all right. I want to say. So, salute to y'all, man. I'm out. All right, Josh. Salute, thank shit. you. Yo, um, that's because we from the same nation, man. We on the East. So we got we got the relatable East. We ain't mixing. Even yeah, we understand each respect. other. We understand each other. Yeah, we understand each other. So plus, I, I know what he meant. You know, plus it's like it's like it's like we know each other to the point that you know we really can't. We got to go in in to verbally hurt one another. Um, rap and oh, yeah, combat. What up? Yo, what up? What up, though? What's going on? What's up, guys? Uh, I missed you earlier and stuff. I, I just wanted to say what up. Uh, Dumi, um, what up, guys? I just want to welcome myself and shit like that. Uh, listening to the show a little bit earlier. Um, I'm, I can't believe people are hating on Uncut Gems. Ness, I can't believe you're hating on Lakeith Stanfield like that. I get it. I mean, his personality is a little bit weird and awkward and shit like that. But maybe because I'm a weird, awkward guy myself. I understand. And like being an introvert, maybe I get him. But um, yeah, other than that, it was a great show. And yeah, um, I agree with what, what homie said about, you know, the chemistry on the show with you guys. East Coast, you know, the lingo is just much more understood when it's amongst us having that conversation and shit. But otherwise, you know, great show for your usual. Um, I'll be back in tomorrow. One love. All right. One love, Caesar, One love. Las Vegas. And my man Cesar. What up, champ? What up, What's what good, up? Cash Week, man? What you guys doing, man? I'm glad to finally be on. I'm glad you guys are finally back on Untitled, man. Shit, been a minute. Yeah, bro. It's on, like man. I said, man, no more chasing view. We chasing you, baby, so everything is back. That's what's up. Hey, Ness, yo, you forgot to uh, refresh that, man. I had I had put in a question in there. <clears throat> Go ahead, shoot. What is it? It's uh, It was a would you rather question. Okay. And uh, it's funny how you guys were talking about that movie, um, uh, about the app. What, what is that again? Um, countdown. Yeah, Countdown. Because my question was, uh, would you rather know... The day that you were gonna die, or how you were death. gonna die? Yeah, the cause of your death. All right. I mean, I mean, uh, I would I rather know the date or the cause? Damn, I don't think I want to know either. Wow. Honestly. Yeah. Yo, you know what? Hey, if you're telling me like right off the bat, I gotta choose, and this is the question, because I could, I would rather choose. Nah, I wouldn't want to know. I wouldn't want to know any of that. But yeah. if I had to choose between the two, and I had to make a choice, I think the date, bro. Fuck no, bro. <laughs> listen, listen, <laughs> listen, me, listen, listen, tell, listen. If you tell me that I'm gonna listen. die if I get hit by a car, Caesar, I'm gonna mute you because you got back. I ain't never gonna be around no cars. <laughs> No, but never, but Alex, that ain't how it works. You got to go watch Countdown. You could probably yeah, watch. I didn't watch it. You could probably I watch it now. It should be out already. Y'all should watch it. Everybody's quarantine. Watch Countdown. Then we'll answer this question on the next Untitled because, my nigga, people in that movie knew they date, and it ain't look, it ain't a pretty sight. Look, I'm gonna say this before I even watch it. I might have a different answer. I'd rather know how than when. Because now I just I don't know if I'm gonna live paranoid or I'm gonna just be more cautious or I'm gonna live more free. Cause what if they say, "Yo, you are gonna die of old age at 95?" Then I'm gonna be all right, cool. I'm gonna just live my life. I might be more ambitious. I might be more more risk taker. That's a very optimistic. Uh, yeah, very, very. Optimistic. <laughs> look, 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 look. You know what I learned today? The F word. The F word. We must all use the F word. Faith. All right, we all in the quarantine. There's dangers out there. Shit is spreading rapidly like wildfire. But you got to keep the faith. That's yeah. all. Well, I'm going to keep this faith on this uh, Arrivederci's and catch out tomorrow at this time, except the morning time, 9 a.m. We got a few guests scheduled. Uh, who is it, man? Let me. It, it makes sense to at least let you know that before I leave. Tomorrow is... Chris Glover, Montana Love, Montana and Brandon Love. Rios. And Brandon Rios. We might bump Chris Glover for Brandon, Brandon Rios. Rios. Yeah. And Brandon? Yeah. Oh, all right. 
Damn, oh, I, damn the you the so you don't like Brandon Real? He he too old for you. He watched nah, that. Nah, I'm like, oh, ah, one man. Come I haven't on. heard. I haven't heard too we much. Heard? Of oh, you heard? Yeah, I heard how they reacted to that, yo. So that's how they do. See, UFC fighters, you know, they don't they don't get this. They, they got a few losses. They still they still get love. Yo, anyway, TBV underscore casual fan is my Twitter handle. Follow me there. It's also my YouTube channel. And then I have, like, these shirts I'm trying to sell during quarantine. You know what I mean? I got the my man's Bob Arum. And that's WWW, Boxing Fan Apparel. Yo, put your price on it. I ain't even set up the shop yet. It's a store, a boutique. You walk in, subscribe, put your price on a shirt. I might sell it to you, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, all right. That's the word my, of the day. My, 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 my boy selling his shirts like art pieces. I right? he got them at the gallery. Yo, it's a boutique. How much you gonna pay for this one? What you wanna give me, man? It's auction. I, I, I can, I'll give you fifteen dollars cash. Get out of my boutique. I got a price already. <laughs> Yo, Ness GTO, Instagram and Twitter, man. Happy that we finally got an untitled. I feel like it's been forever. I'm also going to put this on audio only for my audio only listeners. And uh, yeah, let me see. Let me give it. We're, we're, I think we are at uh, 334. 334. Yeah, so, uh, you know. Yo, do me. If you want this, come get it. I'll have it for you. Brand Ooh, new. Champ, what is I'm it? What through. is it? What is I'm, it? Tomorrow. I'm, 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 Yo, I went, I've been wearing the Cash Weezy line for a few years now. Like two years now, champ. What is Tomorrow. it? Let me see it. Let me see it. Is this is the one I've been the pushing. Gabe, the Gabe. Oh, nah, that one's tough. Nah, the Gabe. The I, father, I, 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 I'm not I'm not feeling the Gabe one. I'm the I like Gabe, that one. Yo, hold on. Let's see what Doomy say about the Gabe one, man. Nah, I, I think I think that's ain't feeling the the fake the um the actual cartoonish um, Yeah, not a head. His head looked too big. Yeah, it's like because I remember he he said that last yeah, time. Yeah, he always say that, but this shit yeah. in real life is tough. You wear this shit, but like, yo, where you get that? Nah, you know nah, what I like about your nah. shirts, bro? You you pick good material. Good you know, good shirts that feel good on you. That's why I like your shirts. Well, too, it's brother. the low tier shirt, so and it's still good material. You know what I'm saying? But you know, put your price on it. It's yours. Go to boxingfanapparel.com and um. Bro, and I and I'm Alex Linus. I'm here on Instagram, Alex underscore Doomsday underscore Linus. That's L A I N E Z. Catch me on uh, uh, TBV, Alex Linus TBV on Twitter. And uh, for all my Latinos out there across the globe, get ready. Because TBV en Español is coming to you very soon, champ. Vamos right. a hablar del boxeo. Vamos aquí a comentar en español. Y vamos a compartir con todos los latinos en Latinoamérica y en todo alrededor del mundo. Queso, pa. Queso, pa, hombre. Vamos. Pan, pan, pan con queso. Queso, yeah. pa. Yo, what the fuck is queso pa? Yo, he's crazy. <laughs> That's a Panamanian. That's like saying, what's up? Like, so pa, hombre. Hey, mm. man. Yo, oh. y'all funny. Yeah, both y'all, I've both been... y'all like Panamanian artists and shit. Bro, Japa, he, you know, you know, you know. Um, I know you know Japa, Japanese. Nah. Oh yeah, Jap. Oh, oh yeah. What's his name? Uh, Levitt. <laughs> uh, Sam. Nah, Rome. he got a full name, Japa. Japanese. It's Japanese. Nah, I know Mr. Fox. You know Mr. Fox? Nah, I don't know Mr. Fox. Yo, is we out, man. We out, yo. What's that? Man, what, what is that? Is that even a shirt? Why is it all small like that? Nah, that that's I a, it up. Oh, oh I, I thought that was a um. Doomsday, come get it, Doomsday. Yo, what's that thing in the ring? What, what does that say in the ring? In the middle of the ring of the shirt? What is that? You what don't you know shit about? about boxing. That nah, the other one, the yellow one. That that's a Muhammad Ali versus Joe Frazier poster. Oh. Yo, we out, we out, we out, we out, we out. Oh, all right. Peace.